First World Order Radio, final lead, final lead. We are on the air, no doubt. All right, all right. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. We get on into some of that order consciousness tonight. First World Order Radio every Wednesday, 8 p.m. We got to talk about what is taking place on the planet. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. First, we need to let you know we're going to be doing more shows, giving out more information on Wednesdays. Wednesday is 8 o'clock. We are now going to make this is the hottest day of the week. Proceeding in levels in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns in existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. Proceeding in levels in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns in existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. You need to understand how magical this, uh, something like this every Wednesday can become. So you need to start uh, getting your calendar right, get your schedule, your schedule right. You need to know our intention straight out. All right, so I mean, these clues are given throughout the various languages was to piece the puzzle of this ancient mystery school back together again. And what we plan on doing, both of us, is bringing y'all some surefire dynamite. We're going to take this level up a notch. We're going to have stuff to do here. This is not just going to be about philosophies and theories and shit that works. Peace, you back once again with FWO Radio. First World Order Radio, we back. And no doubt, your guest, Dr. Aleem El Bay, and I have my co-hosts coming on tonight. Grand Sheik L, are you here? Peace, God. Peace, God. How you doing tonight? Doing well, God. How you doing? We're doing well. We're doing well. We're going to be getting into um, various subjects tonight, in particular about NASA reporting um, today that the sun's Electromagnetic fields are about to flip. Um, let me bring mm-hmm. on um, our other co host here, Brother Olabalo. Are you here? Yeah, I'm here. Peace, Peace to the God. God. Peace, God. Yeah, Peace, Olabalo. Peace. Peace, Grand Sheik. Yeah, I had stumbled across that article myself, you know? Wow. What <laughs> would you think about it? Because this is what we've been talking about. I mean, I know I've been teaching it for about um, 15 to 16 years on this information um, mm-hmm. that NASA is going to have to start um, revealing the fact that the sun, that um, during these particular sun cycles, sunspot activities, that um, the electromagnetic field of the, of the sun flips, and which that causes the electromagnetic fields of the planets to flip um, at the same time. Um, what's your thoughts on that, Brother Olabala? Well, as the, you know, things happen in the universe, you know, we are connected to the universe, so of course that will affect us, you know, the people of, you know, that's highly melanated. So obviously exactly. as, the, as the universe changes, there's going to be changes in us as far as our levels of consciousness. Exactly. And at the same time, those who lack uh, melanin, it would affect them as well. Either they just, they'll start flipping out or whatever. You probably hear about a lot of murders going on or whatever, you know, but mm-hmm. there's going to be some things going on that I think we really need to pay attention to in the media and everything and, 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 and kind of connect it with this change. I agree, Brother Olabala. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what's, your, what's your thoughts on that grand shape? Uh, yes, uh, you hear a lot of the things about this global warming 
and all this here, but it's the sun. It's like right. you just said, it's flipping. You know, right. And, and, and uh, but they what they want to say is global warming is deal, uh, uh, dealing with people with their cars and the energy that they're burning down here. That's not so, you know. But that that's what the truth is. It's the sun. No doubt. Let's get into this article. It says the sun will flip its magnetic field soon. NASA say. This is written by um, uh, Mariam um, Kareem. Um, of Kramerspace.com, and it says that the sun's magnetic field is gearing up to shift, which happens once every 11 years, according to NASA officials. The sun is gearing up for a major solar flip, NASA say. So it went from just a regular shift in which it happens every 11 years to them having to admit in the damn next line that it's going to be a damn major <laughs> <laughs> so a flip. An event that occurs once every 11 years, the magnetic field of the sun will change its polarity in a matter of months. Matter of fact, they say within the next three to four months, this is going down. According to new observation by NASA support observation, it says the flipping of the sun magnetic fields mark the peak of the sun's 11-year solar um, cycle and the halfway point of the sun's solar maximum, the peak of its solar weather cycle. All right, so this is the peak that we're going into. And it said it looked like we are no more than three to four months away from a complete field reversal. Mm -hmm. um, physicist Whoa. Todd um, Hoxima, the director of Stanford University Wilcock Solar um, Observatory, Said in the statement, the changes will have rippling effects throughout the solar system. As the field shifts, the current sheets, a surface that radiates billions of kilometers outward from the sun's equator, becomes very wavy. NASA's officials say Earth orbits the sun, dipping in and out of the waves of the current sheet. In other words, this is like um, portions of the photonic energy in which that is being um, propelled from the central sun, Alcyon, which is in the center of the galaxy, and our sun is act actually acting as a magnifying glass for these energies. And this is why this major event is taking place. It says the translation, um, the transition from a wave to a dip can create storm space weather around Earth. All right. Um, NASA officials say. Now, we know that we've been experiencing a large amount of rain over the last um, three months, right. you know, I mean, um, especially during July, there's never been this amount of rain. I mean, it rained like almost every day in certain parts of the country. Matter of fact, at one um, um, for a few days, it seemed like it was raining in almost every state. You know, yeah. it says the sun's polar magnetic fields weaken, go to zero, and then emerge again with the opposite polarity. It says Stanford solar physicist um, Phil Shriver said in a statement, this is a regular part of the solar cycle. While the polarity shifts can stir up some stormy weather, it also provides extra shielding from dangerous cosmic rays. These high-energy particles, which are accelerated by events such as super, supernovas explosions, zip through the universe at nearly the speed of light. They can harm satellites and astronauts in space and wrinkle current um, sheets better protected the Earth from these particles. It says the effects of the ripple sheets can also be felt throughout the solar system, far beyond Pluto and even touching the Voyager probe near the um, barrier of interstellar space. It goes on and says that the sun's north pole has already changed signs while the south pole is racing to catch up. Mm -hmm. Trevor said, soon, however, both poles will be reversed and the second half of the solar max will be underway. The second half. So, shit, we just went through the first half. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay. The current solar maxima is the weakest in 100 years, experts have said. Usually at the height of the solar um, cycle, sunspot activity increases. These dark regions on the sun can give birth to solar flares and ejections, but there has been fewer observed 
um, sunspots this year than in the maximums of previous cycles. Now, we're going to get into the science on the reason for that in a second. At least that's what they have reported. All right. Um, let's go to what other scientists are saying. Now, um, everybody know they all done read the book Ancient Future by Wayne Chandler. If you haven't, make sure you go and get it. In the ancient future, Wayne Chandler breaks down that every 25,920 years, Earth, along with the rest of our solar system, completes one orbit around the central sun of the Pleiades, known as Alcyon. All right. Paul Arthur Hess, an investigative astronomer, discovered a photon belt that encircled the Pleiades. And our Earth is presently completing this cycle of 25,920 years. So this is the 25,000 years in which the only Belash Muhammad referred to as a holy Quran, which is a yeah. renewal of history. So we're yeah. going through a renewal of history right now. That's what is going on. If we just finished completing that 25,920 year cycle, and here it is, they are confessing that we're going into a second half, which is talking about another 25,000 year um, 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 renewal of history. Actually, that's what they really are talking about. All this is accumulating at the exact same time, and this is no coincidence. They stated yeah. that the sun along with this planet is entering this photon belt. Technically, a photon is a collision between an anti-electron and a positron and an electron. It creates a brilliant burst of light energy. We refer to it as photonic energy, a, a, an enormous amount of pure light energy. That's what it is. All right, this is what is going on. This is what they wasn't talking about. All right, an enormous mass of pure light energy. Now, as melanated beings, Brother Olabala already broke it down. We absorb all vibratory frequencies. Consequently, mm -hmm. the human organism can be biochemically, physiologically, or even genetically transformed. This is what we're talking about tonight, how these sun rays is going to affect us in this particular uh, 24 cycle. Now, Oni Bilaj Muhammad, as we said, spoke about that renewal of history called the Holy Quran, which actually is the Sun Chronicle, or Sun Chronology. All right? Now, chronology means time, in which that is related to this great year, or this galactical alignment of the central sun, Alcyon, in the Pleiades. It's going to be aligned with Sirius, Orion, our sun, and a planet Earth. All right, that's what's going on right now, that, that alignment. And this is the reason why the sunspots um, aren't being ejected off at the maximum because of this particular alignment. However, the energy is still bombarding the planet, and it's not the weakest. It's actually going to be the strongest because due to the um, depleted ozone layer, we receive direct energy from the central sun, Sirius, Orion. And you know Orion has the nebula in which that tells you that that's the birthplace of the star. Mm -hmm. So all the energy we sit down on from, we sit directly downstream from. Matter of fact, um, scientists say that they found that, matter of fact, this article is called The Journal of Biological Physics. Now listen to this shit. The Journal of Biological Physics. Stillwater, Oklahoma, United States, 1989. This was written in 89. It says, scientists have found that the streams of energy from stars traveling in Pacific directions, either up or down the galactical arm in which they are embedded. Stars are polarized to other stars. That's what I was saying. All of a sudden, it's acting like a magnifying glass. Mm -hmm. Both negative, which is magnetic, and positive, which is electric, receive energy. Some send it out. Some Receive it. In other words, some send it out, transmit it, some receive it. Absorb it. All of which travels on the path of a magnetic field line. So now I'm talking about this, um, the sun magnetic fields are changing, but this energy flows along that. Now check this out. It says, recent findings revealed that we are downstream from Sirius in part of the galactical arm our solar system resides in. New energies are flowing into at this unprecedented degree, Sirius transmits its energies, which is highly charged photonic particles, to our entire system via the magnetic field line. So Sirius is actually what is changing the field within our sun. 
every 11 years. It's a no that our listeners will win, I will plant all around see every 25,000 years. Now, this is no coincidence because in the Holy Quran, the, um, chapter 53, our Nigeria, the star, it states, and he, Allah, the Lord of Sirius, the mighty star. That's no coincidence. You know no, what I'm saying? Not. Right. So Sirius is what is, this Sirius is what is actually doing. Now, you know, in ancient times, Sirius was actually, Sirius A was Isis or, or Set. All right. The whole Sirius constellation, which is called Canis uh, Major, was actually called Anpu or Anubis. All right. Now, the elliptical pattern of Sirius is the identical to the elliptical pattern of human DNA. And this is the reason why Dogon say that we came from Sirius because Sirius is stated by the ancient to be the most important star in the sky. All right. And what was astrologically the foundation of our entire spiritual and physical lawful system. Its celestial movement determined the calendar, which is called the Sirius or Celtic, um, um, Hiligic, um Rising, you know, Helical Rising, which is, you know, in Sirius, you know, um, again, rose into visibility above um, the um, 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 Afghan Hibas um, for seven days. It rises again, and it marks the beginning of calendar year of the um, ancient Kemites or Tamaranes okay. and You're roughly correlated. Yeah, I'm sure they don't want y'all. We don't want. They don't want to get this information. No, yeah. they don't. They just break that up, bro. Yeah. yeah. I just want to let yeah. you know that you know a little bit. You know. Right, right. So, um, let's let's go to another um book here because you know we we got to throw out you know um information because we can verify everything that we talk about. Um, let's go to the Mayans prophecies and the astrogenetics. All right, this is written by Maurice um, Carterell, and this is what he says. He said, um, "Solar radiation on humans for over 20 years." This is what he studied. He studied solar radiation on humans for over 20 years and discovered that genetic mutations are caused through the actions of ionizing radiation. He has found that ultraviolet rays, X-rays, gamma rays from the sun are the key factors in genetic leaps of species. Mm. Mm. He states that the sun, wow. check this out, he states that the sunspot cycles are part of this mutational process. God damn, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> the sunspot cycles are part of this mutational process. Catarell found that the sun Solar flares peaks every 11 years, 187 years, 3,740 years, 18,137 year cycle, which increases in intensity on respective peaks. All right? He said it's theorized by many that the peak of all cycles together are destined to meet. You know, at the end of December 20, um, 2012, which we already know that we have gone past, but we're still in that cycle. And this is the thing. Check this out. This 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 is something in which that is real deep, because there's a physicist named Pop, in which that he discovered that the human organism is not only carnivorous or a vegetarian being, but also a consumer of light. Now you know the ones who are the most melanated are the ones who are the best at absorbing and consuming light. We are actually light eaters. In mm -hmm. fact, he, he said we behave like luminorivis. Luminorivis, which is, lu we take luminous, luminous light. You know what I'm saying? Light and that he is. said we are, right, that we are luminous warriors, creatures. <laughs> this is what he said, that we are, in other words, we are light eaters. And he said, in other words, earlier on in our earthly development, we were light vampires. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Mm. The light yeah. vampire absorbs energy with permission, consciously, from the earth, from the air, from the food, from the water, from the sun, and the cosmos, universe. While on the other hand, you have psychic vampires who do not ask permission and is oftentimes unconscious or unaware of them draining people's energy. And of course, they are some conscious psychic vampires. All right? 
Now, I just want to say that because I want to keep us on the science, you know, of those who are light vampires, mm-hmm. all right, and those who are psychic vampires. Well, I just want to, I don't want to get too biblical, you know what I'm saying, because I know how y'all niggas are about the Bible, but <laughs> it can be used for something more than just wiping your ass. Okay. <laughs> it can't it can't be used for something more than that, y'all. I'm just I'm just making sure that y'all understand that. In other words, there is something don't throw the egg out with the damn bath water. Okay. Yeah, it's a metaphysical Malachi, book for those who study. Right, but in Malachi the fourth chapter, the first through the third verse, it says, Surely the day will come, it will burn like an oven. God damn, there it is. All the arrogance <laughs> and every evil doer will be stubble, and that day it is coming will set them on fire. Say if the Lord Almighty, not a root or a branch will be left to them. In other words, your whole bloodline is going to be wiped the fuck out. But for you who reveal my name, the son of righteousness will rise with killing in its wings, and you will get out and leap like cats, released from a damn stall. In other words, niggas get get time, get happy. Then you will trample down the wicked, and there will be ashes underneath the soles of your feet on the day when I do these things, say if the Lord Almighty. All right. Now, what the hell is the Bible talking about? Because that sounds like some good shit. <laughs> Son of righteousness. You're right. Son of right, right. And it ain't the, and it ain't the S-O-N, y'all. This is the S-U-N. All right? This is the S-U-N. So, <laughs> so let's see what they're talking about, y'all, because we know that melanin has its own DNA. And actually, it's the most important substance in the human body. And what is melanin? Melanin is carbon atoms linked together in which that forms melanin, which acts as black holes. In other words, your melanocytes act as black holes. It draws down energy, sound waves, light waves, sun heat, sun rays, etc. Right? In physics, your said black body, your melanated body is known to be the perfect absorber and perfect radiator of all forms of light and energy. All right. This yeah. so-called melanated body is at work in the electrons, and is shown. Check this out. It's shown by Richard. This is the um um Dr. Richard um uh, Feisman, who's a Nobel Peace um, Peace Prize winner. He says that the electron is responsible for all chemical changes in matter. So, when photon interacts with electrons, there's a message correlation in which that occurs between photons. And electrons, all right. Photonic energy and electrons. There's a message. In other words, this is what causes the mutational change within you. Now check this out. Now melanin is viewed as a battery that is partially charged and can always accept electrical charge. So when sunlight or other energies come in contact with the melanin body, it increases the charge of the battery to a certain degree. In humans, melanin is the primary determinator of skin color. It is also found in hair, the pigment. Tissues underlying the iris of the eyes, um, as well as also in the ears, throughout the whole body. In the brain, the tissues with melanin includes the pineal gland. All right, the twelve pair of the um, twelve pair of cranial nerves, in which that is um, called the um, um, the subnigra, in which that deals with um, the substantia nigra, um, and different other parts of the twelve pair of cranial nerves that has large amounts of melanin in there. Now, when those areas in the brain are electrified, they release chemicals known as DMT and pineoline. Um, my man, um, Panic, spoke about this, you know what I'm saying, a few weeks back. Now, in the third dimension, melanin acts as a semiconductor to transform energy. Now, you get the book called The Science of Melanin, Dispelling the Myth by Dr. T. Um, Owen Moore, he says, as semiconductor, melanin has an energy gap. So this is now an energy gap in the third dimension. And the third dimension is based on your thoughts, your perception. In other words, if you think that you only have to deal with length, width, and height, you forget the science of depth, which is time and space, which is the fourth dimension, and then you forget energy, which is the fifth dimension. So it's nothing more than changing your view, your perception. Now check this out. 
He says, as the semiconductor melanin has an energy gap, the absorption of energy is required before electrons can jump into the conductivity band and make melanin conductive. An increase of conductivity increases the sensitivity of melanin to the electromagnetic world of etheric beings, astral projection, and spiritual entity. At low frequencies, the conductivity of melanin is small, but at ultra-high frequency, melanin is a superconductor. Maximum current flow on the skin is due to the skin effects at melanin's ultra-high resonant frequency. So we have to get to ultra-high frequency. Now, there's a tone in which that the ancients have been doing for years in which that gets them there because it symbolizes just like the um, antenna on the back of the old TV. And we spoke about this before. You normally have the straight air antennas in which that is called the rabbit ear antennas in which that stuck straight up from out the TV in which that gave you access to VHF, very high frequency. Right. Which is channel 2 to channel 13. Then you have um, um, the U channel in which that was ultra high frequency in which it gave you access to channel 14 of 82. Now, the antenna on the back of that TV was called an ohm antenna. So the sound mm -hmm. in which that taps you into the fourth dimension in which that makes the electron jump into the gut um, conductivity band so that you can speak and deal with these ethereal beings and these spiritual entities um, and also astral project and soul travel and so forth is the sound oh And it's no coincidence that the damn antenna on the back of the old TVs was called the ohm antenna. Not at all. That is no, that is no coincidence. All right? And quantum physicists have stated that man physically is made up of the remnants of stardust. So in addition, prana means the life breath or the life force energy, which is the color red like a ruby. The seed of prana in man is at the heart and prana is the sum total of all energy that is manifested in the universe. It is the sum total of all latent forces and powers which are hidden in man and which lies everywhere around us. Heat, light, electricity, magnetism, or all manifestations of prana. You can get this from the science of pranayama by Swami um, Srivananda. Mm -hmm. All right, so... Keep this in mind of what I'm talking about because, you know, we're going to get deeper with this shit. So when the energy is captured, the battery has more energy to use in the body. So now if your body is the, if your body is the, um, is the battery and your melanin is what gives you the ability in order to absorb more energy, and if you are able to absorb a great amount of energy, then you have the greatest potential to spirituality. For those who lack that ability, you can't do shit. <laughs> if you don't absorb enough energy, if you don't absorb enough energy and learn how to absorb energy and store the energy into what is known as your dantians, which is your navel chakra, your heart chakra, and your third eye, you up shit creek. <laughs> All right, you ain't doing nothing but damn talking. You ain't doing nothing but talking. You ain't you can't do shit except run your damn mouth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, about, about stuff that you would never achieve. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So melanin can absorb a great amount of energy and yet not produce a tremendous amount of heat when it is absorbed. So check this out. Because it can transform harmful energies into useful energies. This means that the human being can charge up their melanin processes, the unique ability to absorb various amounts of energy and convert these absorbed energies into reusable energy. All right, so music, vibration, sound waves, sun rays, sun heat, light rays, etc. as I said. Now, according to Dr. Leon um, Edison, melanin can absorb tremendous qualities, quantities of energy of all kinds, including energy from sunlight, x-rays, energies that is found within cells during the metabolism of cells. Now, check this out. In Dr. Frank's bar theory, Matter is shaped and structured by light. So here we is, we get more sunlight 
coming in, our son is acting as a magnifying glass for Sirius or Orion or a curious for the Pleiades. And this energy is coming in. And you can get this from Job, the ninth chapter. Y'all, go and read Job, the ninth chapter. It tells you the different constellations on which that affects the earth. It's right there in the Bible. The ancients already knew this shit. All right? Mm-hmm. So there's nothing new under the sun. The only thing I'm doing is regurgitating history and trying to put this shit in the, into an um, order or perspective in order that you can understand. Right. So in Frank Barr's, so in Dr. Frank's Barr's theory, matter is shaped and structured by light. These molecular combinations, which is melanin, eats light. There it is again. These molecular combinations, melanin, eats light in order to maintain, expand, and evolve matter. The more highly evolved a species, the more complex is biological capacity to use light. God damn. That right there, <laughs> that, that right there shuts down any European saying that they have a greater quality or ability in order to absorb energy than we do. Because we know that melanin has that ability. If you get the science of blackness, written by Hotep um, Iyamin, check this out now. He says melanin is black to allow its chemical structure to obtain, retain, store, and generate light and sound energy once it contacts the molecule. This light and sound energy permits the African to have a higher level of perception and gives him the ability to communicate with the dead. Hence the term Negro, the spiritual world, and the outer space cosmos. That's what he says. Mm. All right? Mm. Now, <laughs> let's go to Carol Barnes. Melanin, the chemical key to black greatness. And y'all got to understand, I'll be down. I, I mean, shit, I just get on Facebook and find out what's the hot topic and then um, bring that shit on, on, onto blog talk. <laughs> and, break, and break that shit and break that shit down for you. all those that love reposting that love reposting them damn articles. What get, uh, that's what I do. I take it and then break it down to the very to the damn very last compound. Yeah. All right. That's now, you Carol, do it. right, right, right. So Carol Barnes, right? Your mental processes, brain power, are controlled by the same chemicals that give black humans their superior phys- physical. Abilities, athleticism, rhythm, dancing. It says this chemical is melanin. The abundance of melanin in black humans produce a superior organism, both mentally and physically. Blacks, infants sit, stand, crawl, and walk sooner than whites and demonstrates more advanced cognitive skills than their white counterparts because of their abundance of melanin. Melanin is the neurochemical basis for what is called the soul. So you ain't got it, God damn it, you ain't got a soul. <laughs> All right, Dr. Soul Gook, power. That. Exactly. Soul power. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Now check this shit out because we know that the man of still um Superman, um, his shit came out and every time they showed you a poster, this this motherfucker is in front of the sun, and he, they done change his you. He, they done change his outfit from um from blue to damn black. He yeah. got a damn black suit on now, like like Spider Man. You know when Spider Man started wearing the um um the um the black suit. You know what I'm saying? He started pimp strutting and shit. We talked about mm-hmm. this before. Yeah. So check this out. Go, go to Wikipedia and read about Superman, and they say that a living solar battery. This is the uh, headline. Living solar battery, it says Superman's power relies on his cells' ability to absorb and metabolize solar energy. God damn. Yeah, yeah. Hold yeah, up now. They're talking about melanin. They're talking about melanin hold there. Up. No doubt. They, hold on, hold on. I got, I got to read the whole damn thing for everybody can get the gist of what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, it says Superman's power relies on his cells' ability to absorb and metabolize solar energy from local suns like the Earth's sun. His kryptonic body is a living solar battery. Hold up, did I say that melanin was a, was was a battery? Okay, that yeah. absorbs solar energy and converts them for fuel for his powers. So Superman got his powers because he is able to absorb the energy of the sun. Now if this cracker yeah. can do in a movie. Shouldn't you be able to do it in a real life, nigga? Since this is based on you. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Because he was a uh, Cal L, which L is the title of, of, of nobility, a Moorish nobility. Mm-hmm. Exactly. 
Exactly. And it says and it says his cells also store yellow sun energy so he can use his powers under objects at night, in dark places, and in space. It says um, pre-crisis, yellow stars were said to emit ultra solar rays, which enable Kryptonian superpowers. Penetrating the Earth itself said rays also enabled Kryptonians to stay superpowered at night. The more yellow sun rays Superman absorbed, the stronger he gets. That's like some incredible hawk shit. The matter he gets, the stronger he gets. God damn it. That's shit. <laughs> That's how you Superman get. was able to beat the Incredible Hulk because, shit, the uh, more yellow rays of the sun, he was able to get stronger. Yeah. And it says, in some instances, he may have been shown to enter the sun in order to increase his powers to their highest potential. Now, that ain't me now. They go to Wikipedia. They the ones who just bought that shit out. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. that's deep. now, let's go to a book called The Bringers of the Dawn by Barbara um, Masinica. It says, she states that human DNA, the carrier of light. Now, hold on. Now, what is the what is human DNA? The carrier of light. Mm. Now, what is now what is a cell? A cell is nothing but a white. A larger DNA. Mm-hmm. You, have, you have a molecule, and DNA is a gigantic molecule in which that leads to the structuring of cells. So it says the human DNA, the carrier of light, or chi, or information, was once 12-stranded. Now it is only a double helix strand. It is time for you to move through the challenges and unlock the history that is inside of your body by allowing the light-encoded filaments to rebundle, reforming or forming new helixes, and by allowing yourself to be receptive to what this new information in the DNA is going to plug into you. So this is what this new energy is getting ready to do. This light is doing. Right? It says, these light encoded filaments exist as millions of fine threads like fibers inside your cells, while counterpart light encoded fibers or filaments exist outside of your body. These are what is, this, is, this is what science refers to as string theory. All right? We also refer to it on Earth as the rays of the sun. All right? Um, or what is known as sun waves or sun particles, all right? Um, the light-encoded filaments carry the language of light geometry, which learns, check this out now, which learns as the stories of who you are. As the DNA begins to form new strands, these new strands will travel along a nervous system in the body that is being developed at the time, and memory will come flooded into your consciousness. You will work to develop this nervous system to pull light into your body. All right. So mm-hmm. we start to transform it. Now, check. Let's, let's go to another thing here, because you know we we got to make it plain. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, 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 y'all was in the nation. Y'all know how the brothers used to say, "Make it plain." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> All right. So Bruce Lipton, yeah. Doctor Bruce Lipton, in his biology in his biology of belief, promotes the idea that genes and DNA can be manipulated by people's beliefs. Once again, check this shit out. Now, this is why I keep talking about this shit because I'm trying to make you believe it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Doctor Bruce Lipton, the bi- biological the biology of belief, he says, promotes the idea that genes and DNA can be manipulated by a person's belief. Is this it true? Well, let's find out. A Russian biophysicist by the name of um, Petar Jaraji research revealed that DNA can be reprogrammed by words and frequencies, opening up a whole new arena in medicine. The experiment proved that one can use words and sentences to influence DNA. This explains how the body can be programmed by language, words, and thoughts, indicating that the human language are actually a reflection of our DNA and not vice versa. All right? Even though vice versa, it can be used. Mm -hmm. The scientists also proved the use of frequencies can repair chromosome damage by reprogramming DNA and found that the genetic codes follows the same rules as all of our human languages. 
Mm. All right, so just by prayer, positive affirmations, all of these things work. Decrees, hakahus, uh, mantras, whatever you want to call it. Even if you chant the Nam Yohoda and Geki Yo, if you chant in Om Mani Padmi Ham, if you chant in uh, um, Nuk Puk Nuk, if you chant in um, Ia Asha Ia, you know what I'm saying? Whatever language you ask, your, your ass is speaking, <laughs> it programs <laughs> your DNA. So sound can heal you. Right. Sounds can heal you. And we've gone over this before. Y'all was on the air when we went over the sounds of healing, the seven sounds. Yeah. You right. have the at the top of the head, the crown is the I sound. At the back yeah. of the head is the Y sound. At the third eye is the E sound. At the throat is the A sound. At the heart, thymus gland is the A ah sound. At the solar plexus is the H ah sound. And then the, um, the liver is the at the spleen, it's the car sound. Um, at the um, um, belly button, you know what I'm saying, or navel, it's the O sound. At the genitals, it's the U sound. So when you chant these particular sounds seven times each, you know what I'm saying, and I just give one example, like I... That resonates your crown chakra, open up your third eye, awaken you in order to tune into the cosmos as we've been talking about. And it also changes your DNA. Now, after you tone and you have toned, atoned your body, all right, and you went through your atonement, <laughs> okay, uh, mm-hmm. you know, after you've gone through your atonement, all right, then you can, uh, then you can do, um, like, um, you can heal your body. Um, that was written by, uh, what is her name? Um, Louise Hay. All right. In her book, she breaks down how you can do positive affirmations and actually um, change your mindset. And now it has been documented that you can change your DNA with sounds. Now, are we just bullshitting or are we there putting all this together or what? This is an article yeah. which they got to check out. It says flares. Cosmic rays, shifts in human consciousness. This just came out May 30th, 2013 by Gillian. Now check this out. It says, many know we are getting bombarded by gamma rays, bursts, solar flares, cosmic rays, and other magnetic influences due to the alignment with the galactical plane. Many are observing the unprecedented increase in earthquakes, volcanic um, eruptions, along with severe weather um, changes. What we are not seeing is how these energies are affecting human consciousness. Oh, this goes back to what you were saying, Brother Olabali. There it is. Mm -hmm. Earth is expanding, bursting at the seams. We are expanding as well. These energies um, affect the bioelectric field surrounding the human body. So that means not only is the Earth flipping up the fields is going to affect um, the sun, flipping up the fields is going to affect the Earth. As those fields um, flip around the earth, it's going to flip your fields at the same time. Mm-hmm. You're going to get flipped. All right? Because it says these energies affect the bioelectrical fields surrounding the human body all the way to the DNA level. Mm. We have subtle, more refined bodies, a body within the body. We know that you have your physical body, your ethereal body. Your astral, which is your emotional body, your mental body, your causal body, your spiritual body, and your soul body. You are a multidimensional being. So it says, and these bodies hold consciousness and energy. What is held within these bodies or your fields is being activated and energized. And this is nowhere to be, and there's nowhere to hide from this process. All right, so... Now, we know that not everybody's going to experience this transformation, all right? Because everybody yeah, don't have definitely. to. Many people would choose at the soul level to pass on before the earth reaches the time. Still others will, you know, leave their body, you know, you know, because it lacks sufficient amount of melanin to adjust to the light that enables them to survive the higher dimensions, levels, or which is the fifth dimension. But those souls who decide it is to change their carbon um, cellular structure to the crystalline form will accommodate the new earth into the golden age, which is called, um, Master Sanyata calls it, or what is referred to within the Sanskrit, is Sata Yuga, which is, no, we call it the Aquarian age. The Egyptians right. call it 
the Egyptians call it the age of Heru. All right, they will be able to ascend without leaving their body. Now, what that means? That means you're able to remote view, astral project, soul travel, um, as well as develop your golden light body. All right. Matter of fact, the evolution of our species, which is called the Homo sapiens sapiens, is a quantum leap to an immortal species called Homo crystals with 48 chromosomes that will have 12 strands of DNA and 12 etheric strands of DNA. Mm. Our third-dimensional bio um, biology is being alchemically shifted from carbon-12 matter, which is 666, into carbon seven which is 616, which is six electrons, one neutron, and six protons. And its structure is retained. So all of our cells must be transformed from carbon to crystal, which is actually silica, so that we can understand, you know, withstand the tremendous amount of light that will be streaming in, which is the solar flares and cosmic rays, into the planet from our sun, which I said acts as a magnifying glass for Sirius, Orion, Arturius, and the Pleiades, and beyond. And these highly charged energetic material is now being absorbed into the interplanetary area of our solar system. Now, check out what it says. It said it is creating a hybrid process and exciting energy states in all planets as well as our sun. Our crystalline light body will then convert the sunlight, which is ultraviolet light, directly into electricity. And this will power us and we will require more light, less food. Now y'all remember yeah. that we read an article about um about um an Indian just the other day. Um when was that? That was Monday that we did that, right? Um Brother Olabala and um Grand Sheep? Yeah. 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 Right, right. We just read that article about uh a uh, um Indian from out of um um out of India who has not eaten. He's seventy eight years old and have not eaten right. since he was he has not eaten any food or drunk any water since he was eight. Notice how dark that guy was. He wasn't right. light skinned He was dark. Oh, exactly. Heavily melanated, heavily melanated body. Right. right. And they say that he was perfectly healthy. And they still observing him 100 days later, and he still hasn't eaten or drunk anything 100 days later. Yeah. So this is what this is happening. We got proof of it because when you start reading about individuals like this, which there's so many more cases that we can go into, but it says the carbon-7 is the material equivalent of the Kundalini system as well as the Metatron cube. You can find out about Metatron. Metatron was one of the highest angels. Actually, um, Enoch, um, his spiritual name became Metatron, being that Enoch never died. He was simply um, taken up in the, um, um, by God, just like Elijah was taken up by God in a flaming chariot. You know what I'm saying? Um, but Enoch is Metatron. So like iron has the ability of sustaining a magnetic field around it, carbon-7 has the uncanny ability to carry hyperdimensional fields, such as fields of thought around it. Thus, it can, be, it can amplify thought and other hyperdimensional fields, just as the iron and copper in the transformer can amplify magnetic fields. Now, you know your body um, is made up of iron and copper. Matter of fact, um, your cellular structure um, at the center is iron. All right. At the center of your cells is actually iron. All right. So your so your cells actually is polarized. So you are a magnetic being. So naturally it is formed in the brain of spiritual adapts. Now check this out. This carbon seven is formed in the brain of um, spiritual adapts. When they have out of body experiences or perform other supernatural phenomena such as biolocation and material um, materialization. During such times the glow or halo that is formed around the heads of these highly evolved beings is actually due to the excess neurons produced when carbon-12 transmute to carbon-7 inside the brain, which is DMT or penoline, which is, the, you know, which is extracted from the pineal gland, which yeah, is pre Right, which is producer, right, these are the sun gods. Exactly. During the human experience, it says that the brain is being saturated with DMT and penoline, these chemicals are secreted by the pineal gland, also known as the seat of the soul. When this chemical reaction happens, the brain is literally being awakened as one begins the human experience. So we're not even living the real human experience yet. The human yeah, experience, really. is, right? The human experience 
is uh, far beyond what they have told us. You know, yeah, so yeah, about, on, on the God level. Right, we talking about biolocation. We talking about um, remote viewing. We talking about astral projection, astral travel, soul travel. We talking about materialization, dematerialization. We talking about telekinesis, telepathy, psychemistry, clairvoyance, clear audience, clear guestness, clear sentience. God damn, how much clear can I get? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm just listening to everything that you're saying, especially when you use that word mutant. It just reminded me of X Men. Right. Great, mm-hmm. and the fact that Wolverine it just came out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the new X-Men is getting ready to come out. I got to talk about this shit because this is talking about you. Yeah. Talking about exactly. You. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? All, all these superhero movies are talking about us. Exactly. So it's time now that we understand what the hell they're talking about. You know, I hate for us to, you know, be behind the ball, you know, but that's what's going on. So we know that we're in a solar maximum. This sun's record breaking sleep ended actually in 2010. And now we're reaching that peak. You know what I'm saying? The first half of this peak. Remember, it says the second half is after this three, four months after the shit flips. Whoa. So we are now in solar cycle 24, heading to the peak of the solar um, maximum in about three or four months. So when it arrives, the peak of the 11 years um, um, sun cycle will bring more solar flares, CMEs, and geomagnetic storms. Matter of fact, so much that damn um, former governor Jesse Ventura on his show, Conspiracy Theories, hell, he had to do a show about it in which they yeah, echo yeah. grave warnings from, the, um, from NASA and the National Academy of Science in which that says record level solar flares and corona ejections will soon destroy the world's power grids. Consequently, all broadcasting transmitters will suddenly go dead. Very likely, within a matter of months, all radio and TV receivers will also go dead, suddenly and unexpectedly. Only those broadcast transmitters and uh, receivers that have independent power supplies will operate. <laughs> all right. This is what this is what was um said. I can't tell you how far it's gonna go, cause I ain't worrying about the outside shit. I'm just worrying about gathering that shit in for me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um um you know for my melanin. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I'm out yeah. every day practicing qigong, tai chi, reiki, pranic healing, tantra kriya yoga, pranayama, kundalini yoga. I'm getting my shit in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's serious business. That's, that's serious stuff. Uh, and that's yeah. that's serious, because that's yeah. what that's what the alert is really saying. We need to we need to prepare. I just look at some of us, you know, uh, you know, melanated people, you know, more is walking around talking about, oh, it's hot out here. Oh man, it's, yeah. it's, hot. it's too hot today. I'm like, what's up with that? What's up? What's up? <laughs> you know, yeah. what, what's up with you? You know, exactly. Should be absorbed that energy from the sun. What? Well, yeah, you know what? What's blocking you off? They toxic. Yeah. They, they they not taking enough vitamin B complex, in particular vitamin B six, two, and three, and twelve, in which that give the cleansing of melanin. It, that's what cleanses the melanin, is vitamin B complex. So if you're toxic and you don't get and you have a deficiency of vitamin B, and you don't get enough vitamin D, which means if you don't have right. enough vitamin B, you can't get enough vitamin D because vitamin D comes from the sun. And you can't handle it. What's up with that? Right, right. So that yeah. means if you don't have vitamin B, which is when now check this out. Vitamin B is used within the body by the cells to transform food into energy, into light for the cells. So that means you don't get enough vitamin B complex, you don't have enough light in your body. So you mm-hmm. can't handle the light outside of your body where there's another Vitamin, and it's called vitamin. Amen. Vit amen. Yeah. Hold on. God damn it. Um. Um. Did y'all catch that? <laughs> yeah. You got it, brother. Vit amen. Amen. Who is amen? Somebody. Amen. The, the, amen the, the comedic deity. Uh, amen. Amen, Ra. Exactly. 
So you get your vitality from Amen. Amen Ra. That's why you say Amen at the end of your prayers, you good Christians and Muslims and Jews and Hebrew and Israelites and etc. <laughs> hell, even the Buddhists, hell, even the Buddhists say Amen nowadays. Yeah. They do so. Okay. So everybody call on Amen. All right. So when they say that you was you was a sun worshiper, hell, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Without the sun, you it's die. All the people. <laughs> right. It's all the people. So you know why right. would we be so? Uh, you know. Right. We are the sun people. Exactly. Yeah, we are the sun people. We are the sun gods. Exactly. 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 All about. Yeah. Right. So check this out. Physicist Doctor um, Michio. Kakaku says an event of this magnitude may seem hard to grasp, but just remember that every 11 years the sun flips with respect to its magnetic field. North becomes south and south becomes north and releases a burst of radiation directed towards outer space, including Earth, and that this burst could endanger our communications. See, they keep worrying about goddamn communication system. Fuck that. We forget that the space <laughs> age is very young. And we've only had a few of these solar um, um, sun cycle, um, sunspot cycles to worry about. See, they keep worrying about communications. You know what I'm saying? Hell, they damn extorting the money from the people to get that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if, you, if you connect with this, you'll be able to communicate without saying a word. Exactly. And that's the point. And I believe I made mention of the fact of telepathy, telepathic, is that not? Yeah, that's one of the definitely. <laughs> Right, that's one of the gifts that we see. Right, your higher senses, right. HSP, higher higher sensory perception, or ESP, extrasensory perception. Dr. Kakaku was interviewed on Fox News now. So Fox News has been saying shit, and it it was called Here Comes the Sun. (laughs) That was the name of the 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 joint. Here Comes the Sun. Here Comes the Sun. Right. You you had to touch up. You be able to touch, uh, excuse me, be able to touch something, uh, an item in the room, and say, okay, this is what happened in this room today. Uh, this, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> right, that's right. That's like, right. So the whole science is based on polarity. You know what I'm saying? And the polarity fields are changing, and it's changing within us. Matter of fact, he goes on to say. With this week's unpresidential X-class solar flare hitting planet Earth, we might be on the verge of a potential solar attack that one predicts by NASA. Now, check that out now. They say that we might be on the verge of a potential solar attack. Wow, Every use of the words there. <laughs> right. Oh, that, yeah. that, that's, that's, some, that's some powerful wordage, isn't it? Flipping the, the sun, well, flipping, tack. right, right, flipping, niggas are flipping, you know what I'm saying, the hood flipping, exactly, niggas <laughs> flipping, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> you gonna flip, uh oh, get ready to you flip, yo, flip back up, yo, back up, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, now, 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 if now, if um, you know, if, you know, if good Christians want to know about their good Lord Jesus, well, Jesus. As the Sun Throughout History by Dr. Um, um, D.M. Murdoch is shown within Psalms 84, 11, that the Lord God is a sun and shield. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, that's, and that's S-U-N, not S-O-N. Yeah. So <laughs> think about that. Jesus is returning. they talking about these damn activities, these sunspots in which that takes place, Mm -hmm. these um, mass ejections in which that takes place every 11 and 22 years or so. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. This is coming. Right. This is, right. And coming over and over and over again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, the Gnostics adapted the potential symbolism of the um, Osarian Heru, which is called Osiris, um, 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 you know, the mythology. Mm-hmm. It became the metaphor of the sacrificing, the resurrection, and ascension 
of this God man called Jesus, which is Yahshua or Isa, which is known as Shu, which actually is the breath of life, which the sun is what gives forth the moisture, the hydrogen. Hydro is water, gin is fire. So when water and fire come together, it creates the breath of life, that moisture, tefnut. All right? And it says that the Roman Catholic Church attempted to destroy the evidence of the connection between Christianity and the ancient Egyptian mysteries. There is no actual person named Jesus, but a concept that several characters roll up into one mythical character or deity from Heru, Krishna, Mishra, Buddha, um, um, Hercules, Prometheus, Dionysus, and many other who was merely represented the soul principle, which is the soul law, energy, which is that sun disc around the head, hence becoming the sun god yourself. You become that Christ symbol or that rock or that um, shoe. The word made flesh. You become it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So the coming of Christ means in esoteric teachings that Christos, the solar, check this out now, that the solar sun in a regenerative world and is not in one. Check this, it, it, this is the deep part right here. It says Christos, the solar, the sun is in a regenerative world. All right. As previously stated, the glow or halo, helios, that is formed around the heads of these highly evolved beings, which are called adapts, adapts, is actually due to the excessive neurons produced when carbon-12 transmits to carbon-7 inside the brain. We spoke about that. So this is how you become the Christ. But you can't do that unless you learn how to absorb these cosmic frequencies. Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. Remember now, we spoke about this dude who he spent 70 years not eating, not drinking. And what did the article say? How was he able to receive his substance, Brother Olabala? What did they say? He was all the rays of the sun. Mm -hmm. Right, through his meditations. You know, nutrients. Got all his nutrients right. from. Vitamin That's D, they, all that. Right. Exactly. That's how he was able to get it. Yeah. That's how he was able to get it. Now, Superman. <laughs> it, exactly. It act, right. Now yeah. y'all might remember. Y'all might remember. Now read. Now, now we just heard you, all about. You said that was some very interesting words that they used in that article about the solar attack, right? Solar attack. The, sol the right. sun is flipping. Right. 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 Now, now check this out. The sun gonna flip on. Exactly. <laughs> them. On them. Wow. On them. Right. On them. Because <laughs> they, they use the word attack. Exactly. Who's they going to attack? Who the sun is exactly. going to attack? Right. Exactly. Well, I'm gonna explain it in a second because remember Ronald Reagan obsession with um alien invasion. I don't know yeah, if y'all might Ronald remember that. Right. I, I recall. Right. 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 Ronald Reagan during um December the fourth, nineteen eighty five, he had a speech at the Forsen High School in Maryland, in which he gave a re, um a remarkable uh, five hour private discussion with Gorbachev. And he spoke about it. And this is what he said. Now, check this shit out. <laughs> check this out. He said, we forget all the little local differences that we have between our countries. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. Mm -hmm. And yet, I ask, is not an alien force already amongst us? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This yeah. is the president of the United States saying some 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 wacky shit to the average person, but for those mm. who pick, you know, President Reagan was using Masonic code words. This alien force is really the solar attack from the sun. The sun is a star. He developed the Star Wars defense program based based off the Star Wars saga of 1977. Yes, he did. Steven Spielberg. No, what's not Steven Spielberg? What's what's doing now? Stephen Spielberg, no, which was, was, was uh, the other one. Oh, uh, 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 not Stephen King. Uh, well, right. Stephen King, no. No, uh, President. No, no, no. We won't get it in a second. Okay. President Ronald Reagan was using Masonic code words because he was speaking about this alien attack. Remember, he said, "I occasionally think about." 
how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we was faced with an alien threat from outside this world. Now, you know what the alien threat is because I've gone to Mexico, London, Canada, throughout the United States, and got called to come to Germany. And in all of those places, chemtrail. Mm-hmm. So, chemtrails is something in which that all of these countries came together on from this so-called alien threat. What is this alien threat? Mm-hmm. The alien threat is really the solar attack from the sun because the sun is a star, as in starlight, which is astral energy. And the word extraterrestrial is really extra terra astral or yeah. extra astral energy on earth, terra. Mm. Yeah. Thus more chi. Right? Exactly. So thus more chi, chi or prana, is on earth, as previously mentioned. And those who absorb it becomes that alien force, which is already yeah. amongst us. Yeah, George Lucas is the one that did Star Wars. Mm. Right. There you go. You got it. Right. So quantum physicists call it photonic energy. Human beings, which are star beings, that possess the extra um, um, ordinary ability of absorbing these stardust particles, celestial dust, through their melanin, melanocyte skin, you know what I'm saying, which breathes like their lungs, their hair follicles, which is their own antennas, nine ether, can expand their brain function via their mind, which is mental faculties, beyond the average 10% usage. So anyone who is able to use their brain beyond the 10% usage is that alien force that they're talking about. This ain't no goddamn green man from Mars. <laughs> no, not at all. This is you. Know. So the alien that built the pyramids. Right, exactly. Right. So President Ronald Reagan began developing the Star Wars defense program, now called the Heart System. Mm-hmm. High Frequency Advanced Oreo Research Program, which is a, what, a 35-acre compound of about 180 antennas near Konoka, Alaska, which supposedly studies the Earth ionosphere. We broke down the other week how the harp taps into the ionosphere, and based on the Unk book written by um, Nur Unk Amin, he states that when we pass on from the fleshly body, we go into the ionosphere. So they are purposely disrupting communication between our ancestral bloodline outside of us, external DNA, so that they won't reach into us internal DNA mm. in order so that we can receive messages. All right. This is what this is all about. Disrupt the um, the information, the light code frequencies. So in order to keep us locked down, this is what Phil Valentine was talking about um, um, back in the days. Did all right. Yeah. So um, Nick Baggage in 1995 published "Angels Don't Play This Harp," which states harp is a weather modification weapon and is used to disrupt the ionosphere and may even be used as a mind control agent. Mm-hmm. Right. No doubt. Now, let me read this portion from the Unk book. I got to read about um, Nur Unk Amen. This is what he says. He said, everyone seems to agree that this realm, heaven, is located in the sky above the clouds somewhere, but no one wants to specify its exact location. Heaven was an ionosphere. The ionosphere is a mirror image of electromagnetic emissions from the earth. No matter how faint, the spiritual characteristics of Every object on earth is duplicated in heaven because the electrons there to it causes the electrons there to operate in such a way as to emit an exact electrical image of all earth transmissions. God damn. Hold up. One more time. One more time. Arc disrupts the ionosphere. In the own book, no Ark Amen states that. Heaven was in the ionosphere. That the ionosphere is a mirror image of electromagnetic emissions from the earth. No matter how faint, the spiritual characteristics of every object on earth is duplicated in heaven because the electrons there to vibrate in such a way as to emit an exact electrical image 
of all earth transmission. This is the reason why the ancients did not destroy the bodies. Mm-hmm. The Egyptian kept the body together and mummified the body with herbs and spices mm. and different other things in order to purify and keep because the image now this, that's because the spiritual characteristics of every object on earth is duplicated in heaven so if you have a body here still preserved then you have a body where in, in the ionosphere Bingo. Exactly. Now, now, guess what? Now, if you read the Bible in the New Testament, if you look in the Greek for the word for heaven, it's Orinos. Right. Is mm-hmm. Orion. Orion. Which is Orion. And mm-hmm. that is heaven. Yeah. And that is heaven. No doubt about it. Yeah. Why don't the preacher talk, uh, mention that? Because they be going in the Greek, you know, and uh, they learn this in theology school. Why don't they uh, mention that? And they talk no, about heaven. It's, it's, it's in, right, it's inside, it's inside their, um, their um, strong concordance. Yeah, definitely. They learn this in theology school about going into the Greek and the Hebrew and the Aramaic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They, thought, uh, they, they had to have seen Orion, Orionos there, Orion there. Right. It's like they see you, uh, I am from above, you, you are from beneath. And the word above is an, anu. Mm-hmm. You know, in the Greek. Right, but right. They won't, they, they won't teach it, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah brother, um, Ben Kara is going off in the in, um, in the back room, too, um, in the chat room. Um, He's breaking down that <laughs> um, Superman or Kyle <laughs> is in that room. S on his chest is a snake in the pyramid to see all things, and like the Egyptians, got his power from the red sun, Amen Ra. All right, or Ooh. in this case, the yellow sun. All right, mm-hmm. uh, goes off and he says that um, I'm in the Bible. Oh, he says that um, Amenhotep, you know what I'm saying? That's where the Bible sources actually plagiarized from is Amenhotep the third, which is, of course, Akna his father, as he was Amenhotep the fourth. And um, that's definitely true. Um, a large part of the Old Testament it comes from there. For those who want more information on the Bible, where it comes from, go to www.dralimalbay.com and go to the article, Metaphysics, the End of Religious Confusion. Metaphysics, the End of Religious Confusion. Metaphysics, the End of Religious Confusion. Go to that, and I explain everything in detail about every single book in the Bible, where it comes from, and who wrote it. This shit ain't never been done before. Uh, no. No. All right? So when y'all niggas steal it, make sure y'all give me credit. <laughs> you, you know they you know they won't. No. no they they won't. You stole it. <laughs> <laughs> because it took me 20 years of research to put that information together. So, you know, give a yeah. nigga credit is due. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So uh, there's another article here in which that is real good. It speaks about the new energies on Earth. It says the new energies on Earth. And it says photon energy is light energy, gamma rays, and is great pulsations are moving through our solar system, which the scientists are now discovering. Dr. Alex Dimitrov of the Siberian Department of Russian Academy of Sciences stated that he has researched and confirmed the existence of what he called a highly charged material and energetic non-informity or what is now called higher density of etheric energy now in nearby interstellar space. He calls it the photon belt. Dr. Dimitrov, along with other scientists, is measuring the remarkable huge inks of plasma. And so niggas worrying about plasma TVs, it's the plasma that I'm worrying about. Mm. You play with PlayStations uh, and the European build space stations. I'm getting sun stations. <laughs> <laughs> there you I, go, brother. Yes, sir. Sun stations. I, that's what we. That's what we need to be getting, y'all. We need to be getting our sun stations. And so it says <laughs> that there's a remarkable increase of plasma and photon activity in our solar system. This is having a profound effect on our sun, 
which has an unprecedented amount of solar activity as well as affecting the weather patterns of every planet in our solar system. There's planets now which at one time did not have water, but now all of a sudden they got water. The moon got water now. Mars got water. Uranus <laughs> got water. Goddamn Neptune got water. Goddamn, every place got water now. Damn, 25 years ago, there was nobody who saying that none of this, that there was no water. How it had water. They didn't, right. 40 years ago, they didn't even see water on the, um, 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 at the, um, cat poles on the, on Mars. But mm. within the last 15 years, they found it. And within the last 15 years, they seen that this pose there, that the ice caps on Mars was melting too, just like they melt here on the planet. Yeah, I was just thinking about when you're talking about the poles, you think right. about it, I mean, it's going to reach its peak, so, hey, buckle your seatbelts. Exactly. Yes, sir. These, exactly. these uh, super beings are going to probably need to learn how to levitate. Oh, well, oh, oh, the, oh, this this is what it's getting ready to say right here. Check this out. <laughs> he says the photon <laughs> belt has already reached Earth's atmosphere. And it's affecting not only the Earth, but many planetary systems around the Earth. We already have, we already know that this is affecting the sun and causing mass explosions and solar flares at this time. Photons are the oldest structures in the universe. All right? Photon particles are powerful energies that can accumulate thought and can retain memory. In other words, photon energy is a very high frequency. It creates the power of instant manifestation of thought. This has never before happened in our lifetimes. Goddamn hope. One more time. Because you're talking about levitating, brother. Hey, let's see what we're talking about levitating. Because this right here says, in other words, photon energy is of a very high frequency. It creates the power of instant manifestation of thoughts. This is why 20 years ago, you might thought about a person, and it might take them days or weeks in order to contact you. Nowadays, if you think about the person, goddamn it, they right there on you within a matter of minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and, and then you may be in the situation where you need some food right now, and the food will just show up. Exactly. You hear a knock at the you hear a knock at the door, like what's what's what's, what's up? Who's that? Exactly. exactly. You know, or, or I need I need to pay this rent, or I need you know I need something, and you get to hear a knock at the door. It's like, oh man, what is this? Ten thousand dollars? What what's up? Exactly, and that's the way it's going down. <laughs> Watch what you're thinking. Watch what you're thinking. No doubt. But it could work in reverse too. Is that? <laughs> now the reason why we're working in reverse is because of certain things in which that is taking place with us right now. And I'm gonna give an illustration of what I'm talking about because you know, just like just like um Olabala was saying and um Grand Sheep was saying there's people that's talking about they they they, they don't want to get in the sun. Yeah. So check this out. Nevertheless, with all these energies coming into the Earth atmosphere, many people are light stars. Remember, we are light vampires now. This is why this is what Wesley Snipes was showing you in the movie Blade, the Daywalker. We're the Daywalkers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not only can we fuck you up at night, right? Not only can we fuck you up at night, we can get it on during the daytime too. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. So, what was it that they was looking for? Wesley was the chosen one. Go back to the first part of that blade joint. Wesley was mm-hmm. the chosen, the prophesized one. He was the day walker in which that all of the vampires wanted to be. They can walk during the day. They was able to, um, um, you know, have no problems with the daylight, sunlight. You know, if they walked out to the sun, you see what happened. They got sizzled. Right. Ooh. That was some goddamn smart. I'm just thinking something, too. You don't watch True Blood? Yeah. Now, in order for the vampires to be able to walk in the, in the daytime, they have to drink fairy blood. Uh-huh. Exactly. And, you know, the fairies, they, 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 they be using that energy. They, you know, they be shooting that energy out. Exactly. Exactly. Hmm. They can hear thoughts too. Mm-hmm. They tap into them, them higher senses. Right. Mm. We gotta check that out. 
Oh yeah, you definitely check that out, Grand Sheet, because you're missing some things there. Because um, they they put out a lot of vintage, um, a lot of information. You know what I'm saying? As we move more into these particular times here, and it's showing you how all this information correlates, all this information that's been talked about for years. You know what yeah, I'm saying? You remember the preachers? That was uh, that uh, one of the episodes. You know the um, the other series, uh, True Blood. That they was against uh, the vampires, and I, I forgot the name of their ministry. But that do something with the sun, right? Something like that. I, you know, think mm. about it. Yeah, Joe, Joe. Let me go to the phone lines right quick, and we're gonna get back to the topic. Uh, let me go to the area code seven seven four. Area code seven seven four in the line. Hello. Peace. 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 How's it going? How you doing? Pretty good, I'm pretty good, good. goddess. Good. You guys are getting me by the last hour of my work since, so thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Appreciate you calling in. Yeah. Like, you made a good point about about the sun giving you energy because my dog all day she'll walk around the house and she'll just follow the sunspots and just lay in them all day. And there was like uh, maybe a month that she didn't eat, and I thought she didn't like the food, but. You just made me think about it. Maybe maybe she just knows some stuff. I don't know. Right. Could be. Right. Right. Well, this is what we do know about those who are light stars, you know, people who don't get enough natural sunlight, you know, due to working or living indoors under artificial, you know, light, you know, EMF, which is electromagnetic fields, you know, such as power lines and home wiring, transformers, radios, TVs. Um, mobile cordless phones or cell phones, microwaves and computers and other electrical appliances. Uh, we know that in uh, 1976 that Dr. Susan uh, Baldwin um, said that nerve cells affected by ELF fields, um, as well as also cell phones and Wi-Fi radiation, depletes um, the energy sources within male and females, which is particularly testosterone and estrogen. So mm. these things to deplete what's supposed to make us strong and vital, you know what I'm saying, and viral, you know what I'm saying, mm. is testosterone and estrogen. Estrogen and testosterone actually are the, um, the solar molecules within us, hormonal molecules within us, you know what I'm saying. So mm. your dog understands that. Um, the Indian master was that we talking about, holy man, understand that. And we are trying to get this information out of people for all of us can understand that. Because we know that um based off symptoms is vitamin D deficiency, which is calcium deficiency. Um also seasonal afflicted disorder, which is called sad, neurohormonal transmitting disruption, depression, fatigue, irritability, lower sex drive, because those two chemicals that I'm talking about, which is testosterone and estrogen, um, those are lowered. Poor food, nutrients absorption, and lowered immune functioning, and also suicide, thoughts of suicide. You know what I'm saying? So all of these things takes place, you know. And so um, yeah. based on the average diet, you know what I'm saying, we don't get enough vitamin um, D, and we don't get enough vitamin B complex, as I was talking about. Yeah, I, I agree with you. And a lot of what you were saying earlier with the cell metabolism, it, it's dependent on B6, B12. Right. And your cells don't, you're going you're gonna to mutate yourself. In 120 right. days, you're going to have a whole new body system of mutated cells. Exactly. exactly. Um, energy production, matter of fact, says vitamin B1 is needed to help convert the carbohydrates you need into glucose. The following B complex, um, the following B vitamins are needed in your cellular levels to convert glucose into energy, vitamin B2, vitamin B3, vitamin B5, vitamin B6, and biotin, which is vitamin B12 also, a vitamin B deficiency in any of these vitamins can lead to decreased energy production, lethargy, and fatigue. Mm -hmm. All right, so we you know, know that... What's interesting is that mm -hmm. um, I was studying with a friend in school. I went to school for basically like biological science. And right. I was trying to make a paper about how um, diet foods and sweet right. and loaves are basically targeting people that are overweight. 
because those right. your body can't digest those things. It breaks it down. Okay. You have mm-hmm. it's a three components. You have a free alcohol molecule that just circulates in your body. That's right. And um, I asked a friend of mine. You know, I'm looking up stuff. He's studying for some crazy, I don't know, biochemistry exam. I'm on the Gatorade website, and Gatorade, it says something about, like, what is the viscosity of Gatorade? And it says Gatorade is, a, is of the same viscosity as blood. So I asked my friend, he said, what's the viscosity of blood? He's like, I don't know. Okay, apparently you're supposed to know through Gatorade. But long story short, I, I learned on that website that they put brominated vegetable oil or brominated things into the beverages so that way you don't have that settlement at the bottom. Right. But what does that do in our body? What what happens? Like, I don't know if we're equipped for bromine. Well, it goes back to what you were saying. Um, being that it's an oil, um, oil turns to fat. And, of course, fat within women is distributed at the hips, the buttocks, um, the breast area, and within men um, is distributed um, around the midsection area particularly. So mm-hmm. um, we know what it does. It causes, just like you said, it causes your ass to get fat, obese. <laughs> you know, as um, many of the products on the market does. You know what I'm saying? That's why they changed the majority of the oils. Um, no longer peanut oil, no longer there's coconut oil. Everything now is soybean oil. Mm. Exactly. You know, soybean oil is the. And guess what? You go and do your research on soybeans. Um, any health practitioner would tell you that soybean has high amounts of estrogen. So if man. Men are taking um, a lot of this, and then it shrinks his, tes- it shrinks his testicles and his penis hmm. and lowers his um, um, sex drive and his um, testosterone levels. What do you think that means for society as a whole over time? Sterilization, part of population control agenda system. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. But do you think that maybe are we either going to have a lot more the people that just appear to be, you know, compare, like, let's, let's flash our minds ahead 20 years or even mm-hmm. a century. Are the people mm-hmm. going to be shorter, fatter, less able to defend themselves, and we're just right. going to have this, this 1% of people that can actually run? Damn, it sounds like, sound like you already know what's getting ready to happen. <laughs> well, yeah, I we hope should it doesn't listen. happen, but prepare for right. the worst. Right, but, but 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 based on all analysis and based on um your research, my research, your friends' research, I would come to the conclusion: yes, that's what is yeah. getting right at. You know, um, okay. you're gonna be shorter, fatter, more out of shape. So therefore, uh, running would not be something in which that um uh would be uh, even feasible. You know. Mm-hmm. Because the foods are so toxic and they're making it so overweight, mm-hmm. you know. What I mean? You know, um, that's why we that's why I keep, that's why we keep promoting these programs to start getting like these yogi masters in which that don't have to eat. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. become vegetarians. You know, become um, um, meditators and become um, pranayama masters. You know, what I'm saying practitioners. You know, that's mm-hmm. the levels that we want to reach. These are levels. I'm not saying that. Anyone is there right now, but these are levels that we need to all start striving towards, you know, and to become the Christos or Christ or Christ, you know what I'm saying? So that we won't have to keep depending upon another man's psyche to determine um, who we are, our life existence, Mm -hmm. as well as also, I mean, as you see, they determine the population control agenda. I mean, whether you got Masanto with the terminating scene, you know what I'm saying, from the rock of or so whether you got the eugenics program from the Rockefellers. The Rockefellers are behind the whole damn thing as far as the population control agenda stemming from the Rothschilds. You know what I'm saying? Who are the bankers and the finances for the um, Vatican. You right. know, so I mean, that's what we're looking, we're looking at that so-called um, connection right there. And their agenda is to eliminate the population. And these are just some of the ways that they want to do it. But this is why we are combating everything that they're doing with more information and with more facts. And yeah. more things which that he can do in order to um, destroy what they're doing within one swift kicking ass. You know, what I'm <laughs> you know yeah. if we start the things that we're doing, then we don't have to worry about anything that they're doing. Yeah. To be they perfectly don't. honest, I think that it's necessary. <clears throat> it's necessary though because the people that should hear it will hear it, and the people that don't, 
I mean, where our, our planet can only hold so many people. Right, but see, the thing is, is that if their population control agenda was right and exact, then I wouldn't have a problem with it. But the fact that I can take 6 billion people and place them in the state of Texas and they still have two acres of land apiece is what I'm talking about. I don't like that because that's a lie that the planet is overpopulated. It might be in some urban cities, but overall, when I go down the street, I see hundreds and thousands and thousands of acres every single day. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Un- that's unused. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, a lot of the part of the population of China, and being China being the largest population of the world, uh, and put them here, you know, and still have plenty, plenty of space in this country here. Right. You know, and if you go get the book, um, Behold a Pale Horse. Um, I have and, book. Right, and Behold a Pale Horse, um, um, Bill Cooper or William Cooper, he states that their population control agenda is built on the forest and that he can take um, the big, all the people, well, during that time, there's 4.4 billion people on the planet um, in the early 90s. And you can place them all in the state of Texas and they would still have two acres each, more than two acres each. You know what I'm saying? Now, right. Well, I don't know if you, I, I'm about to say, if you ain't seen two acres, I got three acres here um, um, on my land. And I'm telling you that um, that's pretty big. Yeah, it is. But the you know? problem is a lot of people are greedy. So even to say, well, how come, that's, you know, like you people just you want got. more. Everybody always wants more. So that's, that's why we're it. in the situation we're in. You got it. That's exactly yeah, right. Exactly. 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 And that's the problem. Yeah, that Bill, we, Bill Cooper was on point with the stuff he said. I was, it's funny you mentioned him. I've been, I have listened to him earlier today before I hit up your station. Word. Appreciate that. But it's all correlates because it's all relevant to our existence and our finding ways in order to better ourselves. That's what this is really all about. Not to worry about what others are doing, but to better yourself. Mm-hmm. That's the essential um, teachings of what we're trying to um, express here today. But we appreciate you coming on. I'm going to go to the next call. Thank you. Hey, I have a quick question before I go. Have you yeah. seen the movie Spoiling Green? Um, No, no, but someone oh, else okay. told me to check it out. I'm going to go and check it out. What's yeah, the name of that movie? movie? Soylent Green. Soylent Green. Green. It's on Google, the whole movie. It's good. Soylent Green. I'm going to check it out because somebody else told me to check it out, too, um, a couple of uh, weeks ago, a few weeks ago. So I'm going to go check that out. Thank you. That shit will fuck you up. (laughs) Okay. All right. Thanks for calling. All right. All right. All right. All right, you got area code 502. Area code 502, you're on the line. Peace. 502, area code. All right, I'm going to let you come back with that. Area code 404. Area code 404, you're on the line. Peace. Peace, brother. Um, this is Brother Ankh. I'm going to be called Brother Ankh from now on. You know me as Dwayne Waters. But, bro, I appreciate, I appreciate the work that you're doing and uh, your guest that's there. Brother, I'm down south across the Mason-Dixon line. So, you know, it's, it's important that the information get out. And, brothers, it's definitely time. I feel it. Uh, I was injured a couple of years ago. And even coming through this injury, uh, the more – uh, I stay in the sun, you know, I was able to almost, you know, heal myself. And the brother who talks about sun gazing, that Indian brother you, you uh, brothers are talking about, um, right. it's, it, it, it's definitely living from the sun, you know, mm-hmm. and so you're going to see more and more. And the children that are being born, have got beautiful grandsons right now. i got a five-year-old grandson and a six-month-old grandson, and other family members have uh, children, man, and they're just extraordinary. Believe me, brother, these children that's coming in the world, you know, 20 years ago we thought we saw some things, but with these children they seem to be uh, ancestors return, and uh, maybe you all agree with me because they're here with everything, and it's important for us to make sure even, you know, grandmama did it, granddaddy and them did it, but we don't have to do it no more, you know, and, you know, you brothers are putting the information out there 
And I just think it's a vibration. It's a vibration that's going on within the universe. And, again, the young lady did say something that she did touch on point about those who are supposed to hear, we hear the call. And, you know, the Bible says the wheat and the tear have to be separated. So, of course, they talk about depopulation of the earth. Uh, he brothers talking about the statistics about how much land is here. I'm aware of that, too. So we know it's a protocol <clears throat> by those who sit in high places. But I believe what the brother Aline said, if we begin to do and continue to do and teach these children, this new generation, and brothers, I hate to say this, anybody that's over 40 that's really not with it, <clears throat> I'm not saying they don't have a chance, but what I am saying is I think I focus on these new beings that are here because they are going to really be the ethnic beings. And I think our children, if they are aware of who they are, and practice the arts of their ancestors and understand how they relate to the universe, which that's what we're talking about. I'm not afraid of what's to come for for these solar flares and all of this. You know, I live in Florida. And we have 90-degree weather all the time. I'd rather sweat and be with a fan than be cooped up with the air conditioner. And I try to educate people that that air conditioner living in that frost peach is under these lights and things like this and not getting out in the sun, being disconnected for what give us the power to have telekinesis and telepathy and all of the other higher, <clears throat> I guess, I don't know what the word to use, but we know the higher senses that we're talking about. And I just want to put that out there and let you know, brothers down south, there's some brothers out there that are really trying to do some things and keep this message alive so our children will be able to go to the promised land. And I think, I think it's a short amount of time. I think things are going to go on this country so bad that people are going to have to make the decision. And those who have the call will get the call. Those who eyes are still asleep, we just have to pray for them and keep them up out of our business. Oh, that's all mm -hmm. i got to say. Yeah, all, right. Really be easy. all right. Thank you, brother. Right. Thank, Thank you, you brother. Uh -huh. Peace. Peace, brother. Yeah, and you and you one of those brothers that, that are doing the job, too. We appreciate you. Exactly, yes. All right, we get Eric Code 347. Eric Code 347, you're on the line. Hey, my brothers, hey. how y'all doing? All right, all right. All right. fine, brother. Peace. Peace. Peace, Peace God. Yeah, man, you know the deal. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah um, well, the brother that was, um, that just came on previously, he was talking about the, uh, the air conditioner. Now, I know... You know, yeah, you know the people, you know, the little lily white niggas that don't want to get outside, take the sun, want to be under that air conditioner all day. But, you know, I, I found out a little science on the air conditioner. I found out that the air conditioner actually um, is that they can actually put, the air conditioner takes recycled air. So they can put agents within that recycled air and you will be breathing that air in constantly. So... These agents have um, mind control. Um, there are certain mind control agents that's in there, um, behavioral agents, um, po <clears throat> population control agents. Um, you can actually, it's actually easy to program somebody when they're under the air conditioner. That's why when you're in the buildings Whoa. during the summer, it's so cold. It's real cold, and they have it on all day, especially like in the schools in those office buildings. That's all they day put certain all night. Agents. Yeah. Right. Yeah, all night. Yeah, that's because they put certain agents inside of the um the air conditioner air. Because remember, remember the the name air conditioner. Right. You condition is something mm -hmm. training it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, what they do is they can put that agent within the air, and you can get the people to do whatever you want them to do. Also, too, on the airplane, you got all them white people coughing up in the air, in the airplane, all that disease and shit. <laughs> and when you get in the airplane, you start breathing all of this diseased air from inside of the airplane. So that's also another way to keep you sick. And they also dump. You know what? You know how they always fly in the airplane over the um black neighborhood. Always yeah. hearing um the wow. airplane over the black neighborhood. That's, That's because mm -hmm. they're actually dumping that recycled air. It's like a form of um chemtrail. They dump that recycled air onto the people. 
on the um the brothers and sisters and whatever. Yep, that's how they do it. That's why you mm-hmm. always hear some plane flying over the um black neighborhood. No doubt, Doc. No doubt. And also too with the uh with the with the star thing, you know, we are actually very similar to the stars because the star, um, our personality and our just our ecology is 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 similar in how the star acts and behaves. Mm-hmm. The star has a nebula, and the nebula is like a nursery. See what I'm saying? Right. And it's the nebula is like a nursery, and they also say that stars all have their own behavior. Right. Like each star is different and you can eat just like every raindrop, every person and every um snowflake. See? So, you know, you gotta make that connection because certain people certain people get stopped by hearing the sun and then when they hear the sun they hear devil worship. They hear they hear um the Egyptians worshiping the sun and they're the devil um worshippers because that shit that right. they hear, um hear right. from the preachers in the church, you know what I'm saying? Right. But yet, the preacher in the in the church can't explain nothing within the Bible that that he's reading from. That's why they only read. A couple, that's why they only. That's why they can. That's why every Sunday they only read a, a couple of um of um paragraphs, if that. Sometimes they only read two sentences and then go into coughing and hacking on the nigga. And the Lord said, <laughs> and <laughs> and, <laughs> and <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? He can, he, he can explain the cover. Exactly. Exactly. He can break it down. What it exactly. means. But yet he saved my he soul. Explain Genesis. Exactly. But yet mm. this nigga is saving my soul. <laughs> <laughs> calling you wretched and all kind of madness. Exactly. You know, no, pretend, bro. I'm going. <laughs> Stay on, bro. I'm going to, go to the phone line. I'm gonna make you part of the um panel. Hold on. Let me go to area code <laughs> six one four. Area code six one four. You're on the line. Peace. Peace to the God. Peace, hey, God. Peace God. Dr. Peace. Aline Grand Sheep, all the brothers on the panel. This is Brother Insight calling there from Ohio. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 seen, I, I, seen that, I seen that signal go up in the air. I, I, I had to heed the call and call in and uh, build with the gods tonight. All no right. Doubt. All right. Yep. Yeah. I feel Listen, that energy. Man. Yes, sir. Listen, man, this is divine. Order. This is this is not a mistake, man. Doctor Arlene, when I seen your post, I had just came home, was sitting down, relaxing. I'm like, the God is gonna go in tonight. Let me see what the God is talking about. And everything that everybody has touched on has affected me in some type of way within the last three to four days. And I'll start off with the whole X Men joint. When y'all started talking about X Men and how the X Men are really us, and a right. lot of people didn't believe. A lot of people didn't believe that though. But the white boy that created the X Men um, right. comic book name, named Stan Lee admitted it, and y'all can go right. look it up. You know, people love right. they Google he, he Go look it up. Right, he admitted he that Magneto was based off of um, Malcolm X of and Malcolm um, X. right, and, and, um, X was and, based and, and off of Dr. King. And Savior was based off of Martin Luther King. Exactly. Exactly. He admitted that in the article, but it's a real small article. You got to really search for it. He didn't say that in a lot of publications, but the fact right. is, he admitted it. And, and, and the point that y'all brought that out tonight to me is very powerful because we need to start looking uh, at these movies as really just more confirmation of who we really are. When I saw that new Superman joint, I almost got up and walked out the first five minutes. I mean, it was it was the story of Haru slash Jesus all wrapped up in one, basically exactly. the story of us. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. When, 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 it, when his mother was having him and it had been a birth on Krypton in over 100,000 years and it was an immaculate birth, I'm like, man, this is crazy. Like, People were sitting here missing this information. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. They missed yep. this information, and they took the codex, and they did what? They put it, they infused it into his DNA. I was just like, right. man, these people, they're not even trying to hide stuff from us no more. So when right. scholars right. and when so, grand but, master but, scholars... But, but, but God, even so impressive was the fact that the codex was encoded in his DNA, but what activated it was the sun. Uh-huh. Exactly, exactly, wow. exactly. Yeah. So when master teachers and master scholars like Aileen and many other brothers and sisters are out here presenting this information, family, we got to take heed. This is real. And the brother just called in talking about the air conditioner. I've been telling people about this air conditioner for quite some time, man. 
It's horrible. I don't turn my air conditioner on in my car, but when I go to certain places, I see that they have that AC pumping, cranking, you know what I'm saying? Even in the oh, wintertime. Yeah. And, and all these companies say, well, we have to run the AC in the, in the wintertime to keep all of our PCs cool so the computers don't overheat. I'm like, man, this is nonsense, man. That's, that's yeah, nonsense. Man. So, so all this information that the family is bringing out is very important and it's very meaningful. And it's our time, y'all. The, the planet is aligning up for us. we got to put ourselves in a position to receive what the planet has for us. And if we keep being out here like my man Professor Chris said, if we keep being out here on this nigga frequency, you know what I'm saying, then we're going to miss the mark. We're going to miss the ball. But guess mm-hmm. what? For those of you that want to learn, for those of you that are learning from brothers like Ali and many others, then kudos to you. We're going to keep riding with you. But for those that don't, we ain't got time. We got to keep moving, man, because it's now or never, family. It's, it's, exactly. it's too much work to be done. It's now or never. Yeah. And in the, in the movie Superman, remember they said mentioned that they had a royal, royal bloodline? Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And then they said the man's name was Kyle L. I was like, I'm out done, man. I'm, I'm really done with this Superman story. Exactly. They said his name was Kyle L. I was like, wow. It was crazy. <laughs> but they, they telling you this, man. Our man, all these cats, man, all these movies are us, man. They are so yep. fascinated with us. They don't want to give us our credit. They make up movies to explain who we are instead of just saying that y'all some bad motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? They, that's just how much, this is how much they are uh, uh, just amazed at who we are. It's like they, they are obsessed with us all the time, and we don't realize it. You know what I'm saying? We right. still caught up on... You know what I'm saying? What I'm eating for dinner tonight, I'm going to the real joint, and these people are basically going in on us. Anytime you hear the word, and, and I learned this from my from my one brother, anytime you hear the word stem cell, they they researching you. They do yeah. stem cell research with black with black cells because guess what? Yeah. The white blood cell is, is is the white folks' blood cell is so weak it don't even survive out in, into the peach tree. It can't even make it to the peach tree dish. You see what I'm saying? So you have to realize all this information, man. They are enamored by us. They love and obsess over us every day, and we still are stuck with our fingers up our ass and don't get it, family. So it's time to wake up. There's no more excuses. Right. No about that. Yeah. Yeah. For the insight. For the insight, tell them about your show. Yeah, man. We on every Sunday from 4 to 6 on SmashMouthFM.com. That's S-M-A-S-H-M-O-U-T-H-F-M.com. I'm the only talk show on the network. We play real hip-hop and R&B and soul music. But uh, we get in there every Sunday from 4 to 6. We have great guests like Dr. Ali, Bay, his wife. We have other people, you know what I'm saying, all the greats. Um, so just come check us out, man. We're in another extension of what this brother's doing, trying to wake up our people, because people can't say they didn't know, um, because you have brothers like myself and Ali and many others get this information out there. So our people can't hide and say that they didn't know about this information because we're making it available to our people. Yeah, you have to go work, too. Keep us Wonderful. Work. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. And that's crazy. Like, this shit can't even make it to the beach and shit. Damn. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> that was great. You can definitely go and check out his show. Um, we're going to go back to the phone line. Eric Code 313. Eric Code 313 on the line. Peace. 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 What's up, bro? Not much, God. How are you? You got a question? Uh, yeah, I got a question about the, uh, when you talk about the vitamin B complex. Right. Uh, does, it, does it matter uh, where you get your source from, your vitamin B complex source from? Yeah, the best source to get it from is green leafy vegetables, brother. That's the best source. Okay. So, um, matter of fact, what has the most green or chlorophyll is actually Corella. Corella. Right, Sun Corella. Was, uh, you get Sun Corella. Sun Corella is the richest in it. Matter of fact, make sure it's that's the broken cells um, of the Corella so that as it goes into your body, it actually goes into your cells directly and re-energize you because it would take it as food. The cells would take it as food and transfer and transfer it, it immediately into energy. Right. That's why it's important uh, if, you, if you eat salads or anything like that, like lettuce, it's best to get romaine lettuce because they're mostly green. Well, I I have been getting mine from this uh this forbidden rice. Um, when you when you boil it, the water turns purple. Right. But that's good too. Because purple happens to be the color of the crown chakra. 
So that is the highly um the um, highly spiritual food that you eat too. That's good. Yeah, it's very powerful. That's the whole story about that uh, forbidden right. The story behind it is uh, it's kind of deep too. Uh, I think the story goes like um, commoners, uh, commoners in China, they weren't allowed to to eat it. It was only a, uh, for royal, for the king. Right. Mhm. Yeah. So. Right. Right. Well, I'm glad that you got a chance to get it and um, give out um, where you got it from, where everybody else can get it too, man. Forbid the forbid. Oh, I get it from health food stores. Oh, that's fine. That's so health food, food store. store. So I'm um, like what yeah. whole foods. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to go and check that out. Appreciate you, Wop. Thank you for bringing that up. Everybody go and get your uh, forbidden rice. It turns purple, you know what I'm saying, which means um, it's um, highly spiritual food. And um, check that out. And then we'll go to the phone line, area code 404. Area code 404, you're on the line. Yeah, brother. I had just to get back in there um, one more time. The brother that came in after me talking about the air conditioner. It's a firm right. belief uh, amongst a lot of the Rasta community. That's the way they kill Bob Marley, by putting cancer in his air conditioner. Mm-hmm. And, you know, right. the man died. It must have been a serious thing because the man died within a year or two. Now, how do you get a Rasta that don't eat no flesh, that eat all green? And, you know, you feel what I'm saying? So, you right. know, we understand that there are, you know, are minute things that the common folk, and especially our folk, don't ever think about. So, That's right. uh, again, I'm going to just listen in. The gods are powerful. Uh, the vibe is so strong. Uh, the brother got in and said he just came and sat down and saw the, saw the post and, and joined in. The brother said, That's it's tough. now or never. You know, and yeah. I want to put this shout out to the sisters right now. i got to put a shout out to these sisters out here in America. Understand, we do love you, but if you ain't willing to work with us and build the king, and 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 make the God who He need to be, then we can't. You can't roll with the tribe because we raising a tribe right now. And sisters need to understand that this information and this knowledge is real. If we want to be the people we say we are, we are the X Men. They again, the brother said that this man admitted. When you come into the knowing, I'm gonna right. I'm gonna give a little yeah. a, a, a little biblical thing because you know they say Christ gave you a message when He said. If people without knowledge of self will perish. Our people are perishing because they don't know themselves. So, you know, all of the information, bro, I'm just telling y'all, y'all on fire. I appreciate y'all down south. We hear hopefully Jacksonville, Florida, be a host to something that can be a part of what you all are talking about. And y'all brothers just keep keep, keep, keep doing what you're doing. Peace and blessings. Right. Well, we know that y'all got the Morris, y'all got the Morris Summit coming up um, August the 17th down there in Jacksonville, Florida. So everybody need to check that out in order to um, go on down there and um, support um, this summit, you know what I'm saying, which is going to be on real economics. Um, Ali Muhammad is going to be there. Um, Minister Inky is going to be there. Abundant Child is going to be there. Um, Grand Sheik um, Messiah is going to be there from out of Delaware. Um, so definitely go and check out um, this um, conference. It's going to be excellent. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is w- definitely one of the Moorish conferences that you want to check out this year if you don't check anything else out. So that's going to be in Jacksonville, Florida, August the 17th. And also go to my website. I can't keep saying it over and over again, www.dralimlbay.com. If you want more information and you think this shit is hot, you think this is fire, what we're talking about, this ain't shit compared to my old website. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? Right? Right now, I'm just spitting flows. This is like me spitting. This is like me damn doing a damn CD right now. <laughs> 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 All right, matter of fact, me and Ola Bala getting ready to bring that shit to you, too. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> <Straight> brother Ola Bala. <laughs> yeah. You hear yeah. me? Yeah, I got you. You here? All right. Oh, okay, because I, I know I got knocked off, so. It's all right. You know, we always knock you back oh. on. Got oh, you. yeah, good, good. We getting, we getting good with that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we going to get, we we, we going to hit the music thing, too, because definitely when we talking about reaching the youth, the youth is, is listening to the hip-hop. They, you know, they, they may not listen to the lecture, but they definitely listen to that hip-hop. Mm-hmm. 
Exactly. You know so we're going to go to 781. Area code 781, you're on the line. Hello, my brothers. Islam. Brother Islam. 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 The dynamic show, my brother Aleem. Appreciate that, brother. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes, we got you. Loud and clear. All righty, my brother. I just want to mention also, brother Aleem, if you got that sun book, share that book with the people, my brother, because you know. At certain times of the day, we should be in that sun. Then certain times of the day, people of melanin should not be in that sun. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Well, the best times for those in which that want to get vitamin D is during the times actually early in the morning and in the afternoons before the sun go down. So um, it's like an hour be- um, up from the horizon and an hour before the sunset. Um, those are the best times. So in the morning, as Horace or Heru comes up, and as Set goes down, all right, or Soot goes down. So that's how it got to be if you want that vitamin D. Um, even if you get, even if, you know what I'm saying, you're doing exercises such as the sun gazing, those are the best times in between um, in the morning, right, an hour right after the sun comes up and an hour right before the sun goes down. Those are the best times for stargazing or sun gazing. All right, and that's when you get your most vitamin D also is during that time period. And we as melanated beings, we need at least an hour of sunlight a day. The sun is 93 million miles away. The sun is 93 million miles away. You have seven chakras, major chakras. Some have nine. Some are developing 12. But let's just deal with seven because that's what Revelation speaks about, the number seven. At least 24 times it talks about the number seven. Mm. Seven. Now, it takes the sun... Eight minutes and 20 seconds for the rays 93 million miles away from the sun to touch down to planet Earth. It takes eight minutes and 20 seconds for the blood within your body to circulate through your body back to the brain to bathe it in nutrients. So, so 8.2 or 8.20, eight minutes and 20 seconds times seven comes to 57 minutes and 40 seconds, which means about an hour in sun is what causes hormonal balance within your body, your endocrine glands. So if you get an hour of sun as a melanated being, you should be good. All right? Some go even as high as three hours. All right? So we awesome, definitely need awesome. the sun. Right, right, right. So we definitely need the sun on a daily basis. Um, that's the reason why they refer to us as sun worshippers and why they call us pagans because we understood the science of the sun. Um, now they mm-hmm. can't take that away from them because now their own science, as I read throughout the, as I broke down and gave you so much information, you know what I'm saying? I read over damn, probably damn um, 25 articles, you know what I'm saying? Proving who we are, you know what I'm saying? And what is going on with the sun and how scientists have to admit now that this sunlight has an effect upon you. We know this moon has an effect upon um, upon us, we can see that within the woman every 28 days. This moon goes through its cycles, waxing, waning, you know what I'm saying, from full to new. Absolutely. And every 28 days, it affects the woman with her menstrual cycle because the moon has an effect upon the tides of the waters of the ocean. So, mm-hmm. same thing, being that your body is 75% water, it has an effect upon your waters, your um ocean. All right? So, that's the sign. All right. Appreciate you, brother. Um, let me go to my point. brother. And also, if you notice, I don't know if the brothers out there notice, you notice when the cops are setting up the roadblocks, always on the new moon and the full moons, because they know people who are not balanced is going to affect them. And them the ones you notice, they pull over for saying, oh, you were driving erratically, you know? Ah, uh, good point, brother. So good a lot point. of people, ch- check yourself on the new moon and full moon, get you a calendar, well, you always know where that moon is located and also mm-hmm. that sun, so you know how to deal. You know what I'm saying? Because everything right. is divine order and ran by the law. And that's us right. as more as American nationals, we need to know these things because that's the only way we're going to be able to lift fallen humanity because we are getting caught in all of these traps out here they be setting for us. Right. So we need to let our brothers and sisters know out here these traps before they fall into them. Right. And exactly. also with that back to that sun thing, a lot of brothers and sisters with the ozone law depleting, I got a couple of sisters who are nurses in the hospital, they saying a lot of our people are coming in there lately with these skin cancers. So that's why I put the information out uh 
Brother Alim, you need to get that book out, that Sun book, and let everybody know as far as right. when, when times to be taking it in and not taking it in right. because that's why a lot of our people are getting them skin cancers on their nose and on their right. foreheads and different parts right. of their bodies, you know. Right, right. But we definitely going to get that out, brother. Appreciate you. Thank you. Because I know you got it. Peace and love, my brothers. Uh, peace, and love, get- peace and love. Peace and love. And actually, and actually, that's what I was reading from was my son book um, information. So, brother, is right on point. Um, that's yeah, why I read I've on- told that too. Thank- I've told that. Right, so Right, so that's the book in which that is coming to y'all real soon, and it's going to give y'all actable, applied, practical information that you can utilize. So let's go to the phone line, 704, area code 704, you're on the line. Peace to the gods. What's going on, y'all, tonight? I'm enjoying the show tonight. This is Brother, this is brother D that called in about a week or two ago about the bid bond. Man, thanks for the information, man. Y'all just, I've been... So caught up in doing a lot of things, I wasn't caught up in doing my studies. I've been on it this week, and I've just my head been lighting up with all kind of information. But I caught half of the show today, but y'all been hitting on a lot of good points, man. Because uh, a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago, I wasn't going out in the sun like that that much. So I wasn't feeling too good. I was groggy, irritable, and then once I start kind of going out every day, you know, getting in the sun and it kind of it helped me feel better, and it brightened up my attitude because I got a lot of negative people around me. So it's just been mm-hmm. I get out in the sun, and it and it balanced me out, you know what I'm saying, where I can deal with all the other stuff that's going on. So I'm glad y'all hit on that. And I checked out the X-Men, the little Wolverine movie, and they had, they like y'all said, they dropping these jewels in these movies, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's all I wanted to say, man. Y'all keep up the good work, guys. I'll be listening to y'all. I'll be ready to listen to y'all Friday, man. Oh, Peace, man. Right. Peace yeah, keep up the good work, too. No doubt. Thanks, man. All right. Peace and love, brother. Peace and love. Peace and love. Thank you, bro. And we got Eric Cole, 661. Eric Cole, 661, you on the line. Hey. Hello? Yeah, that's Hello? Got you. Hey, what's up, yeah, we got uh, you. I mean, man. Hello? Peace, yeah, yeah. you here. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you kicked that knowledge with the sun. So I have a quick question. What is the solution? We have a lot of conferences. We got a lot of bottles. You know, we 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 going against each other. We're not going against the real problem. We're actually, I, in my opinion, we, we we I'm I'm just asking you a question. We are wasting time. I mean, we got them. We got them. Why they're weak right now? We're wasting time. I don't know what we all got the knowledge. All of us ain't gonna get everything at the same time. Because we're all different. But I think we should attack them now. We should set up our own government and we're playing. We're keep playing. Oh. Brother, well, I, mean, you, you, I, mean, I mean, you're great with your things. I'm talking about, I'm just giving it to the people that's listening. You know, most people right. will have, use their ego right now and say, well, we did this and we sold this and we sold DVDs and we we, we going on trips and shit. No, nah, we, 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 we came to incarnate here and take this shit down. Because this is the last time. Because once we die, we can't get this knowledge back. It's over. It's a wrap. You, that's why they're making us homosexual, making people homosexuals now, because we we really got to take this shit over, but we ain't trying to. We keep trying to sell shit, have conferences, having battles against each other, but we're scared to battle the real problem. We all get 501Cs. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't understand this. I, I don't understand what's going on right now. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not knocking what you're doing, because, I mean, what you're doing is great, but I'm saying the listeners, I'm saying everyone, all of us, what is the solution? What is the solution? Are we going to come together and say, you know what, brother? You do this shit, you know what I mean? Uh, you, my, you, you're more, okay, you, you, you believe black is not black. You believe uh, African is and all this stuff. We all should just come together and leave all this shit aside. That's what made us fall anyway. Well, you're the solution. You, you're the solution. So I, know, I, know, I, I, I know I'm the solution. I've been yeah. doing things. That's what I'm, 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 I, know that, I know exactly what you're going to say, brother. I mean, me. I, I, I am the solution, but I'm saying mm-hmm. we keep doing the same shit over and over because they're tracking us down. We keep having conferences. We keep having battles against each other. We ain't, This is not what we're about. So what do you feel that we should do? I, I'm asking you that. Well, I will tell you that, bro. I'm not disrespecting you. I will tell you that over the phone. I don't need uh-huh. to share everything that what, what, okay. what, what, we, what, we, what my nation do. You know, mm. well, 
Uh-huh. All right. We do all the time to you, brother. Right. I mean, yeah. well, I, hey, I'm trying to go uh, okay. to the UN. I, ha- I have been, I have been uh, emailing the UN. I have been trying to get to the real problem, you know, for my indigenous self. So, mm-hmm. yeah, people don't. People don't follow suit. Yeah, people don't follow the morse because everyone thinks it's fake. I, I understand that. But I'm saying, though, I'm talking about what is the solution. Why we got to keep having conferences? And how many conferences are we going to have? Well, let, let me explain it. Let's take it down. Why is it weak now, brother? That's let let me explain this, special. brother. Let me explain this. It's real simple. All right. There you go. Um, we know that um, the practice of racial segregation is done basically in nine areas of activity. We know it's in economics. Education, mm-hmm. entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war, and health. Now, we have to develop a think tank in which that kind of acts each of these particular positions. If you're talking about taking it down and us having conferences, that's actually what the conference is supposed to be about, is us developing think tanks in order to kind of act economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, but, politics, religion, sex, but and what? we have help. We got let, we have that, Eileen Bay. That's what I'm saying. We You put enough work in to do that. We all put enough work in to do that. A lot of people behind the scenes put enough work to do that because we see the weak. We got to let the weak fall with the weak. We got strong listeners listening now because that's why they're on the phone now. So we use these strong soldiers to go and do battle. We ain't going to use battle with guns, but we got to use the battles with our mind. Right. Well, Let we always fall with the weak. We don't gotta worry about the. We don't gotta we don't, check this out. We check don't gotta this out. Worry about, we, we spoke ahead. about the battle of the mind. You have a mind, but the mental capacity of the average person is only usage of ten percent of the brain. Exactly. I'm not, be able, I, I, be able, I'm not, hold on, hold on, I'm not, listen. You're not gonna be able to do anything with that mentality because they gave you that mentality. That's how they trained you. That's how they indoctrinated you. That's the educational system that they gave you. And you built on, it. you know what I'm saying? So if, as long as we only using ten percent of the mind or brain, then we don't have any capacity to do anything against this beast. Now, yes. once you start absorbing the energies in which that we're talking about, then you start developing yourself and you start going beyond ten percent usage of the brain. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred percent usage of the brain. Now you can damn start doing damage because now you can bring things that you can think of into manifestation. Before, at 10% use of the brain, you can't bring shit into manifestation. You can barely wipe your ass straight. Okay? Exactly. That's the phone. Exactly. And, um, battling um, exactly. Um, this beast who has nuclear warhead, you know what I'm saying, who has drones, who has all of these things. If you can't I'm mentally not, wait, 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 project I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, any, hold on, hold on. I'm not, I'm not trying to, you have, listen, you have to learn how to mentally project energy in order to destroy anything. That means you have to learn telekinesis. How do you learn telekinesis is through what I'm telling you. That's what we are talking about. How to develop yourself to a higher level of consciousness and awareness so that if they want to fuck with you, they can't fuck with you. That's hey, what we're talking about. That's number one. That's oh, the only okay, thing that Brother Ali Bay, I am doing every everything you just said, been doing. I'm not talking about going to war what they created me to do. I am right. saying, I, you just overstand what I said. I said, we have warriors, we have soldiers on the phone that they've been listening to you for a long time. Basically, right. we're might, maybe the same, we maybe not. I'm talking about what we, I'm not talking about the people that use 10% of their brain. You know what I'm saying? Right. I I'm never talk about, talk about we. we. I always no, talk we. about what I'm going to do. Because I, you, can't, you, can't, you can't focus on what the well, next who, person well, who going to do. To? Who I'm talking to? You're talking to all about. Hello? Hello? Who? Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, I hear you. We have to focus on what, I, and me as an individual, I have to focus on what I'm going to do. Because a lot of times we always focus on what we going to do. We ain't going to do shit. Um, you know, and I say it like that because a lot of times we looking for someone else to do, and, that, and that's like waiting on Jesus to come and save us. You know, exactly. we have to we have to become that. the. You're, you're, yeah, I, I understand what you say. I get I get just what you're saying. Like, but I just so want to make. Can I, can I make this a point? Can I just make this point? I want to make this point. I'm going to say this one thing. I, to me, okay. what I was saying, I have to worry about who I I know who I am. What's my agenda? I know what mm-hmm. my agenda is, but I'm saying mm-hmm. we, I'm saying people on this phone call on what we going to do with all this knowledge. Because so many people that claim that they have knowledge, but we're not doing nothing about it. We don't have our own stores. 
I never say we. I never speak for we. I always speak for what I'm going to do. Because if I keep, I can't speak for what the next person is going to do. See, that's why I mentioned, when you mentioned that, I said you are the solution. Exactly. You have to figure out what, what you are bringing to the table. I have to figure out what I'm bringing to the table. Aleem has to focus on what he's bringing to the table. Uh, Brother L has to focus on what he's bringing to the table. Then if we could come together as far as That's what, what we all bring it to the table based on what Aline was talking about uh, dealing with those different fronts because we have to we have to focus on things strategically. Now we don't even know like what those areas that we um uh that's being used against us and how we can combat this thing we can't even focus on the solution. First, you got to figure out what's the root of the problem. And this is what Aline was trying to explain to you when he was dealing with those nine fronts that uh, Francis Crest uh, Wilson had uh, uh, mentioned about the nine fronts, which are ministries. So once we find out what those areas are that we need to master, then we'll figure out, okay, what what uh, what what a department or ministry can you fit in, uh, uh, Aline, Brother Aline? What what area are you fitting in, or uh, what area right. your focus? Right. What, what area right. your focus? Right. Yeah, because we gotta figure out. Um, yeah. Exactly. Hello. Hello. Yeah, yes, I'm here. Listen, listen. This? this is what I was going to say. All right. Who, this is what I was going to say. It's, it's real simple. Um, we have enough organizations to actually fill the fronts. All right. Check mm-hmm. this out. Moors are masters at law and more is jurisprudence. All right. Mm-hmm. So I guess you would put them in the forefront as of over law, which is one of the nine battle fronts. Entertainment, I have Africa Bambata, mm-hmm. I have um um Brother Fruit Corner Law Bay from the Grave Diggers, Wu Tang Clan, and many others who have um who have developed programs such as mm-hmm. Africa Bambata with the Zulu Nation in which that kind of acts the entertainment process of the Illuminati and of that. Yeah. Well, guess who put uh-huh. African Bambada, who was head of the comedic Zulu Nation, at the front of that? You that's put worldwide. Law, right, you put Brother Taj at the um, front of law, mm-hmm. all right? Mm-hmm. Put, yeah. um, over war, guess what? You need to, you put the new Black Panther Party. Yeah. Malik Zulu Shabazz, because that's what they talk about. You know what I'm saying? Over sex, you get Brother Kaye Love, Who's one of the um students of um Sanyata Ser Swati over that? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Over on religion, you put me over that shit, cause I'll destroy that motherfucker. Exactly. <laughs> right? Put put <laughs> all right? Um over um education, we got brother Kaba Kamani, you know what I'm saying, who was formerly known as Booker T. Washington and my man yeah. Marcus Klein over Frontline magazine who I wrote for, they would be head over the goddamn educational process. Yes, and build and the curriculum for mm-hmm. Right, right. And economics, we got the goddamn Mooney brothers. You know what I'm saying? And wish that can go into that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So right there I just showed you that we got the whole damn thing down packed. Over politics, you can put old girl from the Green Party, you know what I'm saying? Who um who come into their who um come into their information and been um, talk. Um, what's her name? Um, she ran um um a few years ago against Obama. She was on the Green Party. I can't remember the name right now. Cynthia, Cynthia, Mac, Cynthia McKinney. Cynthia McKinney. Put her over part of the politics. So right there, I just gave you the goddamn names of all the goddamn battlefronts, and ain't nothing but goddamn giving niggas a call in order to put this shit together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but exactly. I'm saying Eileen Bay. But guess exactly. what? You, named all, you brother, brother, you named all that. But guess what? Half of them is getting a five hundred one c. You know what I'm saying? So if you're getting a five hundred one c, you're you're not a, you're not for nothing. You know what I'm saying? You still right. we still putting up the flag. We ain't for nothing. See, we ain't see, moving. See, That's what I'm saying. I, I, I am moving. You are moving. Uh-huh. My brother's on the phone. I'm saying when you I say we, I, before, the back, but you got to tell them that you're not you're not overstand what I'm saying. When I said we, I'm talking about the the. The the and the callers okay. on the phone. I'm saying we. I said when I at the beginning. I said we all have different skills. Okay. Right. I said once we when we pin them together, we we. Right. I'm already right. doing what I'm doing. You okay. Doing we right. about, oh, you say you we have. like we we right, right here. I guess. Yeah, we all. That's what I'm saying. Us. I said, okay. I'm not talking about the outside because when you said 10, percent I don't care. I read Earl Nightingale's book. I don't care about the 10 percent right. out these other people out here. I'm saying I said we as brothers. 
What we right. want to do, I, mean, that was, I don't know how big it got. I said, what we going to do as a solution. That's what I said. I'm tired right. of conferences. I'm ready to make moves. Not the, not the physical moves, not shooting a uh-huh. gun and things like that. That's stupid. That's, that's, that's not that's stupidity. I said, we had to do what we wanted to do with our mind. That's exactly what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Yes, I got into the more, more, the, I don't, the more law book. Yeah, I got into it in my business. I looked into the, the, uh, the UN uh, indigenous thing. I had got my IDs from D.C. I had to change my name. I did all of that. I did every mm-hmm. single thing to the mm-hmm. team. I even listened to a brother that I am beat on, uh, uh, Dr. A- uh, a- a- don't even like, is that, that kid named Nanya L. I had to talk, I had a battle with him, you know, and, and, and I'm thinking like, damn, these people want to come down here from Canada and trying to take over what we're trying to create, but, you know what I mean, people this are my people, but I, I'm not feeling that, but that's on a different subject right there. But I'm saying, mm-hmm. right. but, these but I don't have a problem with Dr. L. You know what I'm saying? He had a problem yeah, with me. Not, Right, he had a problem with me because of an article I wrote in which that he said I didn't mention his name, but um, the brother in which that I got the information from didn't mention his name, so I just utilized the brother who I got the information from name in an article. So yeah, I mean, if they want to be upset that's about that's that, that we, you know, if they want to be upset about that, and that's some silly shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that could that could have been done by a phone call. They didn't have to make no goddamn video about the shit. Oh, if, if video, uh, some videos out there on you. It's on YouTube. Yeah, I know. I know. I, yeah, that's yeah, what that's I'm saying. That, that, that's how I say like, that's, what, that's what our problem is. We sit here attack. That's why I say we we all warriors on this phone. We all we all, mm-hmm. we all ready to take this shit over, but why we keep dissing each other? Why we keep having conferences? Why we keep going against each other? That was, I was asking you a question. Why? You know what I mean? Some, some people like bumping their heads against the wall. Right, but we keep doing it because we're trying to get it right. That's, That's the reason why, why I'm asking why. Exactly. I'm asking you. you know what I'm saying? I mean, actually, for those who are really sincere, we're trying to get it right. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody don't click with each other. Everybody have different personalities. So we're trying to blend everything, make things holistic so that everybody can see and come to an agreement so that we can start moving forward. You know what I'm saying? That's otherwise, it. right, That's otherwise, you're going to keep having these um, debates and discussions about nothing. There is, you go. And nothing is going to get done. I agree with you, brother. There you go. I told yeah, that's what it, that's yeah. exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Well, at the at the end, yeah, at the end of the day, basically, you know, those who are part of the solution have to come together and figure out what part we play in the solution because we all play a part. So, in order to fix the many problems, we have to figure out what our strong points are, what you know, what we can bring to the table. So. You know, I mean, we can't get emotional about it. I know sometimes we get emotional, but we really got to figure out what the hell. I mean, this is me talking to myself. What the hell can I do? Mm-hmm. What are my strong points? What are my talents? What are my gifts? Mm-hmm. And once I recognize what that is, then I can bring that to the table. But first mm-hmm. we have to figure out who, what, who the hell am I? What the hell am I here to do? You know, what can I bring to the table? Then when we come together, we at least know, okay, you're the plumber, you're the electrician, you're the carpenter. You know what I'm saying? So we all got to mm-hmm. figure out what the hell we can do. Then when we come together, we know uh, our position. You know, get mm-hmm. in where you fit in. You know, so that's where, where it comes because everybody can't be the lead damn singer. There you right. go. You know right. what I'm saying? Exactly. Somebody got to play the bass. Somebody got to play the drums. Somebody, you know. So we got to figure out first what what can I do? What can I bring to the table? So when we come together, you know what I'm saying? I know my position, and I'm not going to try to step outside my lane. There you go. You know hey, what, that's what I so asked. That's it. That's what I asked. Because so many people yeah, have, it. you know, right you know, have so, they want to be okay. I'm a I'm a master in this. Okay, I'm a more, and I know this, and I wear my face. I'm a more. I wear my feathers. You know, it's like wow. I mean, come, well, I mean, they don't know nothing because I'm an indigenous. I'm like, yo, why are we all beefing? We all have right, have different skills. Like I said, right. we have different skills. Yeah. You're all when I say we, I'm talking about the people on the phone. I'm not talking yeah, about people you. outside. We all, you. Have, skills. We all have skills. You. We all have skills. You know, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, you hit on a knot. I'm on a dot. Like, we all have skills. We need to come together. That's how Block Wall Street I mean, was booming. So why can't we do it again? We we have more technology and more. We all we more stronger, and we all can come together than it was in the 1929. Yeah. And we now we buckle down to an apartment and don't have land. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We buckle down to an apartment and an iPhone and a flat screen, and we happy in a rental. Come mm-hmm. on, you know what I'm saying? Now we we should be mad at ourselves. 
You know, we yeah, should not well, be in no damn apartment. We should not be having no goddamn iPhone, and we should not be having no damn TVs. You know, period. We should take this shit over. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shit, no, no, no person so called conscious shouldn't have a TV. So so called brother that one called herself a revolution and whatever shouldn't have no cell phone, no iPhones, no FBI phones. We shouldn't have none of that because that's slowing us down. Well, we couldn't talk to each other now if we didn't if we didn't have phones. Hey, if we had telepathy, if we practiced telepathy, we would have did it. But I oh guess yeah, you know. But, you know, we got to get to that level. That's what this conversation is for. And once we get to that level, we don't have to use the phone no more. I love y'all brothers, man. Y'all keep it real. Yeah, I love you too, bro. And I get where you come right. from. I get where you come from. Love you, man. Peace, keep it up. Love, love, love the show. Peace, peace. All right, thanks and, a lot uh, for that. Yeah, peace. and uh, like I said, you know, we, we'll come together, and whatever you have, you know, to offer, we'll come together and make it happen. But first we have to figure out what we have to offer. Then when we come together... We can make it productive, not not waste time, like you said, with the lectures and stuff. We'll, we'll have, okay, this is what I can do, and let's do it. Let's run with it. Right. And matter right. of fact, the lecture circuit is, is done with. Shit, it's time for damn workshops, you know what I'm saying, in which that mm-hmm. you can actually show actionable, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, applied, as we would say, practical information and, you know, show people how to utilize mm-hmm. it. Just like I just got a question mm-hmm. on Facebook about, mm-hmm. Sister asked me, um, how can you absorb the rays of the sun consciously? Well, it's real simple. As you breathe in, you simply visualize the rays of the sun coming into you. And you'll feel tingling throughout your body. Mm -hmm. And as you breathe it in, you're going to make it settle down at your navel chakra, about an inch or so behind, about two inches behind your navel chakra and down from your navel chakra. And you'll feel like a warming effect. And as you breathe it in, and then as you breathe out, it will get larger and larger. Imagine like a sun, a ball of sun, a um, sun ball inside your belly. And as you exhale, it gets brighter and brighter as you exhale. But your breath has to be long and deep. It can't be shallow. shallow. It has to be long and deep. So as you breathe in, and it helps if you take your tongue and put up behind your two front teeth. At the upper ridges of the palate, and then also pull up your anal muscles. And by closing off that circuit, you keep the energy that you're absorbing inside of you, and therefore it's not escaping outside of your body. So as you breathe in, you pull up your anal muscles and take your tongue behind your teeth, and you settle the energy into your navel chakra. And as you exhale, it gets brighter and you feel the warm sensation. That's how you store energy. Your body is a battery. This is how you recharge your battery on a daily basis. See, these other niggas ain't going to tell you this shit because they don't know this. And they don't have teachers and the fact that they just read in one book. You know what I'm saying? I can't get over that shit. That's why we have this lecture now. Right. My man Bobby used to tell me this shit all the time. He said, he who reads one book knows nothing. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Bobby Hammett, he, he damn used to just speak that shit up all the time. All right? So let's go to the phone line. 347, 347, you on the line. Islam, man. Islam, Islam boy. Oh, hey, man. Hey, peace to the brothers. Listen, man, y'all, y'all, y'all are beautiful. Y'all are beautiful. I'm an elder. I'm, I'm 64. Uh, right. The brother, that was, the brother that was just on the line, you know, I... I, I I'm, I'm feeling them. I know what that's. That's me. That was me back in when I was 18. You know, exactly. what are we gonna do this? But like, exactly. this is what it's, this is what it's about, brother. Like the like y'all were telling them, it's about you. Now I've been in some accidents. I got three hernated discs, bad knees that was operated on. You know, ankle that was operated on. All kinds of shit. Everybody's right. telling me I should I should have a cane. You know, I should right. be walking with a walker. I should be walking with a walker. Shit like that. Right. But the thing, but I ain't. Cause right. I, I'm using, I'm using my mind. Now I learned this from going to Sunday school at the Moorish Temple. And see, that Prophet Noble Drew Ali gave all this to us back in 1913. So now right. I'm just, just listening to y'all guys. I'm feeling like, hey, now it's time I can sit back. I can sit back, take a back seat, man. These brothers finally got it. Right. It's not. It's not a we thing. 
is what are you doing Thank with you. your mind? Exactly. What it, every, everything else is going to take place. Like y'all were saying at the beginning of the show, the solar system is working with us. You know, that, that crystallization, the sun, all, everybody, it's all coming together. It's all working with us. That's our exactly. life. You That's are right. Life. That's so right. Now, now, get that together, brother. I love your arm, leg, leg, arm, head. That's it. Yeah, that's you. you. So you ain't got to worry about everybody else catching on or getting on. Do what you can do from where you're at. Exactly. Get to yeah. know exactly. Man, know thyself. Show you right, that's brother. Right. Show you right. So you use your mind. Use your mind, brother. Everything else is going to fall in place regardless how you see it. You got to get yourself out the way. Right. And then I'll show you that. This is sweet. This is sweet. But I really enjoyed y'all's show. I don't know what brother clicked me in, but I'm glad you did. Oh, damn. I clicked about two or three other brothers. <laughs> I, I, I hooked up about two or three other brothers. I don't know if they, they, they got in or not, but I know if they did, they'll call me later on, you know, other more. Right, right, right. That's what I'm talking all right, about. All right, peace, God. Peace, all God. Right, Y'all peace keep God. up the good way. All right, thank you. All right, we got Eric Code 540. Eric Code 540, you on the line. Yeah, what's good? What's good, Dr. Arlene? Hey, what's hey, good, hey, brothers? Hey, um, I'm doing good, man. Hey, I was going to say something about know, know thyself, because the dude kept asking what we going to do, but uh, the brother right before me beat me to it. But, yeah, it's know thyself, man. You got figure out what you're going to do before you can worry about anybody else. That's right. Um, that's right. That's the same thing, looking for the Savior outside of yourself. You know what I'm saying? you your own Savior. Um, right. But what I was called is to ask you about, um, what do you think about the second sun? Because I know sometimes when I go out and sun gaze, I can mm-hmm. see the right. second sun. I feel like it's mm-hmm. that, that I'm in raw, that hidden sun. Can you kind of mm-hmm. go in on that a little bit? Yeah, that's um, Sirius C. That's India, which is known as um, Nibiru. Okay. And is there a third sign up there? Because I know sometimes I look up there, I don't know if I'm you know, um, tripping. Or... <laughs> um, Jupiter, actually, Jupiter actually used to be a sun, brother. Jupiter okay. actually, actually, um, and sometimes of the year, Jupiter, um, just like Venus, is is basically some of the brightest, brightest objects in the night sky. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Not for Sirius, you will have Venus um, being the brightest object, and then um, Jupiter. You know, so sometimes okay. you... Mm-hmm. And Jupiter used to actually be a sun. So we did have two suns at one time in the solar system, but um, mm-hmm. Jupiter uh, fell to a fifth-dimensional planet. So now it's just more ethereal, you know what I'm saying, becoming a, um, becoming a solid. Gotcha. Um, mm-hmm. And then can I, when, is the, when is Sirius, um, the Sirius constellation, when is that viewable at nighttime? I know it, you can't see it. It's below the horizon, like, is right. Well, actually, still or what? actually, now, um, since June 23rd, it is you can see it come up three minutes over the horizon. You know what I'm saying? So you're able uh-huh. to see, it, especially at night and in the morning time. Actually, you can see it um, right at dawn um, before um, the sun comes up. Okay, I, I have to look the next time. They're not pumping my skies full of chemtrails. Exactly. <laughs> I have, exactly. Yeah, we go days here where I'm at, like. It, we have a rainstorm come in, and it'll be cloudy for three days of just exactly. you can't see the sky at all. So exactly. the chemtrail drink is real, man, and, and I see it it people true. don't. <laughs> yeah, like, look up real. in the sky, you don't see them cloud Like, you don't see that cloud that just came from the back of that airplane. Like, it wasn't exactly. a cloud. The sky was clear five minutes ago. So, mm-hmm. But I appreciate the info, brothers. Uh, y'all keep doing what y'all doing. All and, right. Uh, appreciate you, Bob. Appreciate you, Bob. All right. All right. We're ready, to have, we're getting ready to have those closing comments. We're getting ready to have those closing comments. Um, Grand Sheik, uh, what's your closing comments for tonight? Uh, brothers, interesting uh, tonight. Uh, I guess we're going to be doing good out there. You oh, know, yeah. We're really putting it out there. Because if we wasn't, we wouldn't have brothers like my brother there, you know. Uh, right. Talking about the show, you know. But uh, what you got to understand is that. Uh, you know, it's, this is the Aquarian age now. Okay, exactly. back in the past, it was the Pisces age of Pisces. So we are coming together, you know. And this is why we have this show, so we can keep it going. That's right. That's right. You know? 
That's right. So that's, that's it for me. All right, Brother Olabala, what you got for us? Yeah, basically when the elder came on, I mean, this, that was words of wisdom from the elder. He basically was right. saying, you knew, you knew more, like like the prophet prophesied, you know, about the new Moors coming I mean, in. He said, he said, hey, uh-huh. I, I can, I, I can, I can sit back and know that y'all got it now. So basically, uh-huh. the elders just told us that uh, the prophet, uh, the prophecy is fulfilled, and and I can feel uh, at ease knowing that y'all got the will now. Right. But uh-huh. keep in mind, the elders are still here for wise counsel. Exactly. You know what I mean? You know, but notice he was saying how, you know, you know, as far as, the, you know, injuries and different things, we have the youth and and, and, um, and we also are gaining the wisdom. You know, and to the, um, to the brother, you know, a lot of times we get excited, you know, we get, you know, frustrated. But the thing is we have to figure out what it is that we have to bring to the table, you know, but... You know, um, this is why we we really have to, uh, you know, come and and present these ministries to the people in a way where they can see, okay, this is how things are supposed to be structured, and um, where do you fit in, you know? Because you mentioned it many times, and I think that sometimes, you know, you say things, but, you know, it may go past people sometimes, but they are not in front that we must master in order to overcome yeah. this modern-day uh, slavery. Exactly. And um, once, we master, uh, once we master these things, uh, we could be on top. But we must figure out what individual department or ministry that we fit in. So that's why I said you have to figure out what it is that you are to bring to the table. Exactly. So, you know, I don't never say we. It is never we. When I go to the bathroom, I don't bring we in the bathroom with me. I bring myself, you know. So I'm always concerned about what I'm going to do. Now, I may join on with positive brothers like yourself, and we could do things collectively. But and when you're on a team, you know, we come as individuals, but we make up a team. So you, you know what I mean? But, 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 you, know, so, Paula, you, you put it out there, don't you? Yeah. Uh, and you know, then you so, let them do what they do, right? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. But we all got to play our position. Exactly. And at the end of the day, we all win, but we all got to play our position. Even the one who's playing the bench get a ring. And they played mm-hmm. the bench. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. You must Side show line. up to practice. Sideline right. boys, yeah. Yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> well, you said plenty more. <laughs> we're going to see if you have any of info tonight because we wasn't playing with you as usual. First World Order Radio been going in on you since we done put it into effect. You know what I'm saying? We're the first world. And then what we mean by that, that we are first. So you're going to get the first amounts of best information here on First World Order Radio. First World Order Radio, finally, finally, we are on the air. No doubt. All right, all right. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. Begin on into some of that order consciousness tonight. First World Order Radio every Wednesday, 8 p.m. We got to talk about what is taking place on the planet. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. First, we need to let you know we're going to be doing more shows, giving out more information on Wednesdays. Wednesday is 8 o'clock. We are now going to make this is the hottest day of the week. Proceeding others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. 
earthly state of human concerns in existence An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance System regulates to bring about specifics In the room based on value and natural characteristics Current radiates electromagnetistics Of sound through the air same as your thoughts transmits it Proceed in others in time, order, importance The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments Earthly state of human concerns in existence An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance System regulates to bring about specifics In the room based on value and natural characteristics Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. You need to understand how magical this, uh, something like this every Wednesday can become. So you need to start uh, getting your calendar right, get your schedule, your schedule right. You need to know our intentions straight out. All right, so, I mean, these clues are given throughout the various languages was to piece the puzzle of this ancient mystery school back together again. And what we plan on doing, both of us, is bringing y'all some surefire dynamite. We're going to take this level up a notch. We're going to have stuff to do here. This is not just going to be about philosophies and theories. 